that's... Um... Thanks, Auto Drive. The droid engages its patrol mode and moves off to carry out your programmed instructions. Good job. I guess I don't need to worry about the data spikes then. Now watch the disc. Now watch the no what no. Left turn. Okay. Clearly there were some areas they had... <laughs> Clearly there were some areas they have not invested a lot of work in improving. <laughs> He's got so much reach. Holy crap. <laughs> that was the best. I realized that when we went to Winterhold and I finally got my room at the college, and I, what the hell is this? That's so cool. Psst. Hey, I know who you are. Hey, Sithis. Guard. Guard. Arrest this man immediately. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. Uh, <laughs> um, that's not good. <laughs> we will have a nice new feature in town soon, it's true. Achievement unlocked. It's heading right for us. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. Well, you weren't kidding. That is actually a pretty attractive crater. And maybe, oh my god. <laughs> um, you okay, sir? Oh. the hell game hey hey that's my tank I'm starting to see the flaw in my carefully prepared plan here. Gotcha. Uh, 
Piper. Are you okay? What the heck? Um. Now I'm going to put a bit of a rush on this, which means we might not actually get to... Uh, wow. That's okay. That is a rite of passage every Valheim player must go through. Is it break time again? Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Good luck, Uthkirt. <laughs> um. Ooh. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, that's no, no, Uthgird, no. Another one bites the dust. That works. Should be a vent in that. Oh, hi. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Uthgird. <laughs> That is. Uh. I'm sure this is not. I'm just trying to incite violence between the trigger men and the. Oh, shoot! Not me. Shall pass. Ah, a red. I don't know what the problem is with the clips this evening, folks. I apologize. I'm not actually ready to start yet. I still have to make tea, so I have a few minutes, but I've never had the clips behave this way before. It started as soon as I started launching a few of the programs that I need behind the scenes. Uh, I might have to just close a few things down. This is very weird. Whoa. Thank you, Mad. Yeah, that's very strange. Well, it looks like it's not liking my capture software, which means the breaks this evening could be interesting. But that's easy enough yeah, to shut down and start up again if I have really to. Don't want to be uh, anyway, I'm going to go make tea. We will be starting in just a moment. It's good to see you, Mad. Nice to have you here. And I will be back in a few minutes. Giving you the count of five. Five. Four, three, two, one. Thank you. Stop 
maybe we need to sacrifice a little bit of cheese. You fool! You've given cheese to a lactose intolerant volcano god. Do you know what that means? You brought about the coming of the divine dysentery. Run for your lives! <laughs> was more spectacular than I'd hoped. Let's see if I can stay alive on a scooter with no auto drive. Whoops. Whoop. The answer is no. Hey, our headless friend is back again. So it's not actually tied to the bridge then. Looks like it might actually get you up to the elevation you need to get up onto that platform up there. Hardly moving at all, silly. How's that? Nice and still for you now? Psst. Hey, I know who you are. Hey, Sithis. Guard! Guard! Arrest this man immediately. handle the fighting. I'll just be here with looting. That's impressive, though. I like that. I prayed to the gods, and when they pulled it out, there you were. What is going on in the background there? What was that explosion? Oh my god. Holy crap, guys! The 30th Anniversary Edition! Oh my god, I used to play this game, the this edition of the game. I still have my book back there. Look at this, can you... This is unbelievable! <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna work. There's the other connector. Okay, I should have given him a vibroblade a long time ago. If you'll pardon the phrasing, he's a frickin' beast with a vibro sword. Holy crap! It's all good. That'll buff 
about. It's not a problem. Oh, you... No, 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 oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no, no, no. No. No, you don't. I'm so freaking close. And you're... Damn, Apex. Oh, my God, you're so close. First Apex Guild. Hey! Hey! That's my tank! I'm starting to see the flaw in my carefully prepared plan here. Sorry, Edgar. Whoa! <laughs> um, oops. That was maybe not my best move. Shepard gave me a clear shot. <laughs> Whoops. <clears throat> oh. Aloy, was it? Yes. The one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness until the Tanakh sound their horn. We wait. Yea, for as the first shall be cut. Shut up. <laughs> nice. Oh, wow. Is it break time again? Ah! <laughs> Oh my god. Careful. Watch the horn. I forgot the grease is flammable. Would be funny if he came here on his break and raided himself. That would be hilarious. We should try and make that happen. Greeny, if you're there, be prepared to raid yourself. So, let me get the raid started. Oh, oh, we already... <laughs> you are there. How's it going, Greeny? <laughs> oh. 
Um. Maybe the spear would be easier. Ah! Oh, jeez. Nice. I think we're going to use the Michael Bolton Doug trio here that we just evolved. something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we're ready to get started this time. Uh, I also have another thing to test. I don't know if this is going to be a problem or not. We'll find out in a moment. There we go. Ah, hey. Um, I think we're okay. Oh, no, it actually is visible. Shoot, okay. Well, I may have to play with that a little bit. That's not supposed to be in frame. I've been working on getting some stuff set up for later in the month. And that's actually the overhead camera that I used when I was doing the Lego build. It's my old face cam, the... Uh, what is it? The Logitech C920. Not supposed to be in frame. We're going to have to live with it being there, though, for now, because it's... All things considered, it's pretty easy to adjust, but it's not so easy to adjust live on the fly. Um, uh, but, yeah, I, I, I've been playing with that because I have an idea that we might try doing the smaller of the two jigsaw puzzles that I've got before certain streams towards the end of the month when we're getting close to wrapping up the St. Jude charity fundraising part of the month. Well, part of the month. I say part of the month. It's actually the entire month. And so I've been trying to get a good camera angle, but I guess I've got it dipping down too low. So I'll have to see about correcting that. That's okay, though. For now, we're just going to go and we're going to work on some Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic and hopefully people won't even notice that I've got another camera intruding on the view because it, it's honestly even I had to look twice to verify that it was there so I hope everyone's doing all right tonight I hope everyone's having a good start to their weekend I guess actually I don't really get to say that do I by the time I start stream on Saturday, the weekend's already pretty much half over for most of us. And more than half over for those of you who uh, live further east. Okay, let's see. 1728, 1737. That looks like that's our latest save. We had just gone back to the Ebon Hawk. And I think we were looking to finish up some missions here on Dantooine. Okay. Hey, Anstara, how goes? How are you doing? Right, we just done a little bit of shopping. Actually, I wanted to check one thing with um, Bastila. She's got regular clothing. She should really be using a Jedi robe. 
even though it's gonna make her look weird. What? That's fine. Hmm? Going all right. I'm doing okay. I'm better than yesterday, so that's a good thing. Little miffed about the whole power situation earlier today, but it's been stable for quite a while now, so I'm hopeful that demand has lessened and there should, if all goes well at least, be no problems for a stream. So that'd be good. Yeah, it tends to stabilize after a while. I tend to have the most problems with that sort of thing. Uh, either right around now, for whatever reason, maybe people have the AC on while they're trying to sleep, or during winter months they have the heat on, or earlier in the day when it starts getting ridiculously warm. Luckily today it seems to have been earlier in the day. So let's check our notes, actually. A quest for the Starforge. Because of the bond you and Basilis share, she's extremely interested in learning more about your character. However, you get the sense there's something she isn't telling you. Candorus, Karth, Juhani, Mandalorian Raiders. Yes. Oh, right. Oh, right. We were trying to gear up so that we could try and take on the Mandalorian Raiders again. I remember now. Because we got our butts roundly handed to us at their hands. Bastila? Oh, and we have mission. I forgot we had mission. Now, how do we get back to the grove again? I guess we're gonna have to go this way. Those were mean mandos. They really were. Now, if I remember right, this is the Starforge Mystery Center. So let's go this way. That's its official name from now on, by the way. It's the Starforge Mystery Center. Oh, hey, they conveniently left the center of the map open. I think that's the guy that's supposed to be on duty over here. But he's snoozing, so he's losing. Swoop racing is very popular despite the roots it has in... Oh, hello. Probably shouldn't be throwing my lightsaber around so much. Oh, I came from a different direction this time. Okay. Let's save. I also kind of think maybe I ought to wait until my force is full up before we go and do this. So we're just going to sit here and creepily stare at them. OK, 
Okay, almost there. Maybe what we'll do to pass the time, I did go and buy some Adrenal Alacrity. I'm kind of thinking... I do like having mission. But... Karth might be our better buddy to have with us on this one. Which means mission has to go. I'm here. What? Hmm? What can I do? Okay. Ah, so this is the meddler. You have caused us far too much trouble for a mere Jedi. I will add your head to those of the other Jedi I have killed and take yet another lightsaber for my own. Now you will know why the Mandalorians are feared. <laughs> Oh, hey, I'm supposed to be stunning you, not the other way around. Oh, my God. Wow. No, he definitely was not wrong. Okay. Um... Oh, shoot, we have to redo all of that, too. What can I do? Got that done. I'm saving again. Ah, uh, so I will. Holy crap. We do have the option on this planet of going and grinding. That at least is something this one's got over Terrace. Wow. We also have the option. We have the Ebonhawk. We're free to pursue other missions. We could go elsewhere and grind in the form of doing other stuff. 
we can always come back and slaughter the Mandalorians when we're a little overpowered. I at least want to see if we can take down the leader. Actually, maybe it would be better to take him out. Some of the other underlings. <laughs> the writing's on the wall already. Gonna load one back so that I haven't lost all those injections that I used up. Yeah, we've got mission. Okay. I think... <laughs> We're going to go to space. We'll come back. Not really, Ansara, no. We're a little new. Oh, I forgot you get to wander the inside of the Ebonhawk. I love it. I love it how it's the I, I love how it's the Millennium Falcon without being the Millennium Falcon. Hey there, what can I do for you? Do you know anything about the planet we're on? Oh, I need you to make me a security spike. I'm not the one you should ask about Dantooine. I didn't even know there was a Jedi Academy here. I always thought it was just a bunch of settlers and farmers. Sorry, I can't be more help. You know, is there anything else I can do for you? Make me a security spike. Okay, have it your way. Hey there. No problem. It just so happens I've got one here I've been working on. Here you go. I'll just add it to our inventory. Anything Thank else you. you need? Okay, have it your way. That's a little subsystem of the game I've completely forgotten about. That's really cool. Yeah, what do you want? I was wondering if you had any interesting stories. You want to hear tales of my exploits? Of the wars I've seen and fought, the enemies I've seen die by my hand? <laughs> sure, I'll humor you. My name's Candorus, of the Mandalorian clan Ordo. I've been fighting across the galaxy for 40 of your years. For my people, it is the honor and glory of battle that rules us. It's through combat that we prove our worth, gain renown, and make our fortunes. Is that why the Mandalorians attacked the Republic? The Sith came to us with an offer. To fight a worthy enemy in a battle that would be remembered forever. Win or lose, as long as the fight is worthy, then honor is gained. The glory at having triumph over impossible odds is what drives us. If there's nothing at stake, your possessions, your life, your world, then the battle's meaningless. No, I don't think Bastila has anything like that yet, Unstar. Throw it into battle. It's the true test of yourself. The battle against death. Against oblivion. You seek death? All life dies eventually. A true warrior is one who can beat it down whenever it raises its head. But times have changed now. The Mandalore clans have been scattered across the Outer Rim. The Republic is in decline. And the Sith Empire rises to take its place. The clans as they were aren't a threat. But the galaxy still fears us. <laughs> People think we war out of spite or bloodlust. They don't understand and fear that. We only wanted the challenge of the battle and glory from it, win or lose. And we lost. But now I have no real challenges. Crushing Davik's enemies and the pathetic gangs in the lower city of Taris could not be considered the most glorious of tasks. When I think of the battles I fought, the thousands I've killed, the worlds I've burned. I weep for my past. We will never again speak of this. We've got work to do, so let's get to it. Okay, then. Supplies. This is a store of emergency food and supplies.
This appears to be some type of hidden smuggling compartment. Without proper codes, you will not be able to open it. On it. Damn. Ah, I can't show you, but no, his uh, profile in the party selector is pretty bright red. Okay, so we really have nothing to speak of here. Can you construct a programming spike for me, T3? Thank you. Zellbar, what's up? Wonder if you could help me with a problem. Unless you want someone threatened or a door bashed in, you should ask someone else. I want you to make me a grenade. I will honor my life debt, but I don't feel we share more than that. Mission may say more, but I will not. It is nothing personal, but I just don't feel you could understand anything about me. The ways of my people are not for outsiders to know. You'll have to be content with that. Okay. I feel I must apologize for the way I acted towards you before in the Grove. It was wrong of me. You thought the dark side had consumed you. It is nothing. Well, it's not actually nothing, but alright. I am sorry for attacking you. I am sorry for thinking you would only try to kill me. I hope that by helping you in your task, I may redeem myself in your eyes. And in my own. Thank you. It is most reassuring to know that you can forgive me, even though I try to take your life. I can only hope that... In our time journeying together, I will succeed. Okay. So I think that's most of the crew we've checked in on. Oh. I can't cancel. Wow. How's that game? Cancelled. There you go. Okay. Where's the cockpit? Um. Well, where is everything? Okay, so. Go here. That goes out. That's missions room. Engine room, cargo hold, crew quarters, crew quarters, swoop hanger. We have a swoop hanger? It's the biggest room in the frickin' ship. Why are we wasting that much space on a swoop hanger? Exit ramp, cockpit up there. Okay, okay, I see where that is. And that's the swoop hangers where the workbench is. This ship is very confusing. Okay, so we're almost there. We're in a room of unknown purpose right near the bridge. 
This is the Galaxy Map, the Ebon Hawk's onboard navigational computer. When you're ready to leave Dantooine, you can use the Galaxy Map to travel to other planets around the galaxy. A destination is still stored in the Ebon Hawk's computer from the last trip Davik made with it. So we've got Karth and Bastila here in the cockpit. Yes, what's on your mind? You've been very quiet lately, you know that? Have I been quiet? I suppose I have. I guess I just don't like being left out of the loop. <laughs> you were born out of the loop. No? Well, you certainly aren't helping matters any either. And it's really starting to irritate me. For one thing, I want to know what the Jedi Council said to you. They pulled you in there and refused to tell me a thing about it. I'm rather curious to know what went on, and why they didn't keep you on Dantooine for training. Isn't that strange? They thought it was more important that I help find the star maps than say. And why is that? You were a great help on Terrace, but why would they keep you with us? Don't they, don't they have to train you? They said there's a bond between Bastila and myself. A bond? What kind of bond? You mean to say that they told you that you were tied to Bastila in some way? <laughs> I have trouble believing that. You're a neophyte Padawan who's been saddled with the responsibility of tracking down these star maps. Why? That's not normal. I am not trying to provoke you or to imply that you're somehow responsible for the Jedi Council, but give me a hand here. There has to be a reason. Are you saying I'm not needed? I don't really love any of these options. Are you saying I'm not needed? I'm here and that's not going to change. Get over it. I'm sick of listening to you rant. Why don't you leave? Bastila and I have a bond. We have to do this together. That's all I'm going to say. I would have no problem whatsoever spilling the beans completely to him. But that doesn't actually seem to be a problem. Yeah. Answer the question with a question. No, I don't... I didn't mean that you weren't wanted, or that I want to go, it's just... Damn it! Well, I'll tell you this much, I'm not gonna wait around until I'm betrayed again. Well, I mean, at least Karth isn't... What's his name? Kaiden Alenko. He's a lot more interesting, and it's a lot harder to start a romance with him, because, you know, Kaiden, you just basically glance at sideways. And Karth, you have to drag him with a starship tug to get the tiniest little bit from him. He does have some understandable issues, it's true. I am not going to betray you. I am not Saul. Yeah, we'll just see about that, won't we? Look, I didn't mean it that way. I want to get to Saul, not... No, no, forget it. It just seems that all I can do is insult you, isn't it? Just forget I said anything. Let's, let's just get on with what we were doing. Sounds good, Karth. How can I help? You have something you want to ask me? I do. How did you know? Well, your face is all scrunched up like a Kinrath pup. Educated guess from the way you keep staring. I'm a Jedi. I am far too disciplined to betray my emotions with outward physical displays. We both know the real reason you have some idea of what I'm thinking, the bond we share. Our connection allows us glimpses into each other's mind. We can feel some of what the other feels, and what I feel within you troubles me. A Padawan must receive considerable training. They must learn to control their emotions and darker impulses. Often it takes years before using the Force can be considered safe. The fact that you are so strong in the Force and have had such relatively little training could have terrible consequences. For you, and for everyone around you. What do you think I should do? I don't think there's much you can do. If things were different, I would recommend several years of training under one of the Jedi Masters. But I fear that won't be possible. Thankfully, you've exhibited a degree of compassion and self-control up to this point. I sincerely hope you can maintain these traits in the future. We must all resist the influence of the dark side. It's everything we are fighting against. This is doubly important for you, with your natural affinity for the Force. What is this, why are you getting so upset? She hardly seems upset to me at all. This is weird. That's good to hear. 
Without the proper training, however, I'm afraid you will find the path difficult even with the best of intentions. There is great danger ahead for both of us. Our destinies are intertwined. Everything one of us does will have consequences for the other. Any reckless behavior on your part is likely to affect me as well. I won't do anything to hurt you. It works both ways, doesn't it? You could help me stay strong. Yes, that is true. I will do my best to guide you, but I am no master. Not yet. And there are times when I find the sheer strength of your power almost overwhelming. Your power could be a gift or a curse. When you need guidance or advice or support, I will do my best to help you stay on the path of the light. I'd appreciate any help you could offer. I only hope I have the wisdom to help you through the dark times. But for now, we should return to our mission. Okay. I guess you have the RP option of being irrational. Yeah, I guess so. Let's get out of here. Tatooine. We can go to Tatooine. We could track down Mission's brother. We can go to Kashyyyk. Excuse me a moment. I need to take a few seconds to welcome the library's latest follower. Eld will prepare a seat for you immediately. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. We can go to Manan. Not sure what's on Manan. I don't remember that world at all. That's the home of the Selketh, though. Wasn't that one of the species they mentioned in the um the Starforge place? We can go to Korriban, we can go to Yavin. A small station orbiting the gas giant Yavin. Interesting. So we won't be going to the future Jedi Academy then, sadly. Let's go to Tatooine. Everyone loves Sand Planet, it's true. That's why they kept going back. Beaten to death by Tusken Raiders with sticks? Yep, it's true. Can't remember if they're worse than the Mandalorians. We get to them later, so I assume they're leveled higher. But not Lord Malik, the oh. Star Forge is operating at 200% capacity, far beyond our expectations. I am more interested in the young Jedi Bastila and her battle meditation. Have you learned how she escaped the destruction of Taris? She was aided by Karth Onasi, a decorated war hero of the Republic and a legendary soldier. During the Mandalore Wars, he was honored many times for his bravery. You know this man? Yes. Malik, he served under me when I still followed the Republic. You could say I was his mentor. Interesting. How did you acquire this information, Admiral? An eyewitness, Lord Malik. Oh, he's still here. Kalo Nord, a bounty hunter, was there when Bastila and Karth escaped the planet. Apparently, they left him for dead. A Jedi and a war hero. It's a wonder you survived the encounter. I am hard to kill, Lord Malik. Kahlo has agreed to help us capture the young Bastila for a very hefty fee, of course. But I assure you, he is well worth the price. His reputation as a bounty hunter is well earned. Her companions are nothing to me, Kahlo. But I desire the young Jedi taken alive, if at all possible. Lord Malak, forgive me, there is something else. May we have a private audience away from the ears of the common soldiers? I trust you are not wasting my time, Admiral Karath. I promise you will be very interested in what Kahlo has to tell you about Bastila's other companions, Lord Malak. I thought we were done with Kahlo Nord. Didn't kill him hard enough? Yeah. 
won't make that mistake again. I mean, you'd think the destruction of an entire planet would be enough. Go figure. Sometimes even then. The Force has given us a vision, like the one we shared on Dantooine. Did you see it? Of course, you must have. The one we shared on Dantooine. Did you see it? Of course, you must have. The Force is strong with us both. Tatooine is known for little but blowing sand. I find it surprising that there would be a star map somewhere in its desolate wastes. It looked like it was inside some kind of cave. Maybe Tatooine wasn't always a desert. Perhaps. Though that would have been tens of thousands of years in the past. Now there's nothing but the howling emptiness of the Dune Sea. The star map would likely have to be within some kind of shelter to protect it against dust and sandstorms. I suspect there are many such caves and caverns hidden in the sands of the Dune Sea. The creatures of this world probably use them as their lairs. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Okay, let's get out of here. I was checking our supplies in the cargo hold. Something's not right. Not right? What do you mean? Someone's been into the emergency stash of food. Mission and I asked everyone, but nobody knows anything about it. You might want to check out the food stores the next time you're in the cargo hold. Okay. Strangely, the food storage seems to have been disturbed recently. No one in the party would have done this, so there must be another, some other explanation. There are no half-eaten or torn packages to indicate the theft was from pests or vermin. It looks more like some unknown person has been conducting clandestine raids on your stores. Whoever the thief is, they have managed to avoid detection by you or your companions so far. Maybe a thorough search of the ship will reveal the stowaway. Man, it's almost like there's some sealed, hidden compartment in the ship that we can't access. I do, Anstara. It's the worst. You think you hear the soft patter of footsteps behind you, but when you stop to listen, they disappear. This is apparently the engine. You think you hear the soft patter of footsteps behind you, but when you stop to listen, they disappear. Other rooms we haven't been to yet. You hear the echo of footsteps coming from the direction of the cargo hold. Kipuna, bona na kichu. A little girl? Where did you come from? Selima Wanga Kumbikim. Calm down, little girl. I won't hurt you. Muchushakapaka. I still don't understand you. She frowns and looks at you helplessly.
strange stowaway. You've encountered a young girl on board the Ebonhawk, obviously a stowaway. The language she speaks, while sounding like Mandalorian, translates into pure gibberish. She may know the language, but she certainly doesn't know how to use it. And yet it seems to be the only language she knows. It might be possible to try talking to her, but dumping her on the planet is also a possibility. Does the name Lur Arca ring a bell? What about Rondil Otsulem? The girl looks at you quizzically, not understanding. Wait, Sasha, isn't that the name of the girl that was taken years ago? Better than dumping her into space, yes. Sasha, your name is Sasha, right? Where are you from, Sasha? Taris? Does the name Lure Arca ring a bell? No. How did you get on the ship, Sasha? Try to learn Sasha's strange language. Many of the words you're speaking are Mandalorian. Mandalore, that's your word for Mandalorian, so you do know of them. But are you a Mandalorian child, then? I can understand Mandalorian, but your words are all mixed up. Bristag, what is that? Everything is safe, is that it? That panel. You sleep there. Leifsa means sleep. The panel, all of this, it's your home. Leifsa mean, Leifsa means home. I see you, or you see me? You're hiding! I understand. Esawan is see, but na Esawan is hide. Say something else, Sasha. It's a thing, something around here. It's your home, is that it? It means starship, doesn't it? You're hiding in the starship. It's your home, I understand. You've said that before. What is gone decent? Something about me, yes, but what is it? It's something you like, yes. Gondisan means you like it. You like me, I understand. You said that when I first found you. Means hit, is that it? To hurt, not hurt, is that it? I understand. No, I won't hurt you. Yum, what kind of word is that? It's a part of the ship, a room. You mean food, don't you? Yum is food. Well, that one's fairly obvious. Is that all one phrase? The floor? You're talking down? Hmm. You're not speaking now. 
Nagis means now. Kipuna, bona nakichu. You want some food now, you're hungry. Tonki ba non tontek. Muchashakapaga. I'm supposed to talk, to speak, about what? Tell me about. I get it. There is someone there who will take you home. Lur Arka Kestawan you Leifsa. Yes, you can go home. The girl seems to think about this but says nothing. After considerable effort, you have managed to communicate with the young stowaway, whose name appears to be Sasha, and learned what she was doing aboard the ship. Apparently, she was once held by the Mandalorians long enough to learn their speech, but nothing else, and she escaped from them long enough to stow away on the Ebon Hawk and hide. Her original home seems to be Dantooine. Perhaps someone there could help her. Well, we'll deal with that when we go back to Dantooine. Actually, we want to leave, don't we? I don't want to go to the cockpit. How do we get out of this weird ship? Welcome to Anchorhead, potential customer. Zerka Corporation stands ready to serve, after some formalities, of course. First, your ship is not on our list of planned arrivals for today. There is a docking fee of 100 credits because of this. What do I get for one, my 100 credits? The immediate benefit is access to these very docking facilities. This is the only port in Anchorhead. Once you've paid, we will offer trade services as well. We're not unreasonable, we just want to cover expenses. Is there any way you could reconsider the fee? I assure you that the fee is non-negotiable. We have a very thin margin of profit on this world. The money I'll save, I'll spend in your stores. That does make sense. I suppose I could let it go this time. We need the business. This will cover any future landings as well. It's like a registration, so we can serve you better when you return. Now, as a customs officer, I can provide information on services. Is this visit business or pleasure? Only good paying work. What is there to do? It depends on what level of risk you want to take. You could ask at the Zerka office if any bounties need collecting. That's in the central anchor head. While you're at the office, ask for a hunting license so you can sell trophies to Faza in his lodge, just north of them. I suppose you could also take up swoop racing. Talk to the hut at the registration office by the track. That's in West Anchorhead. I can't say I know which of these jobs is the most dangerous. I stay away from all of them. Give me some background on Tatooine. There isn't much to tell. It's a very old planet, well past its prime. Zerka Corporation is the only company with any interest in it. It's not a very pretty world, but there is opportunity here if you know where to look. Tell me about Zerka Corporation's operations here. I can't really get into that. It hasn't been a very smooth operation. I shouldn't get into it. Come now, friend. Let me in on the details. Uh, it's common knowledge, so there's no harm in telling you. It's a tale of bad business. You see, Zerka Corporation staked their claim to this planet based on some very promising geological surveys. Unfortunately, that information was incorrect. And possibly even a 
an attempt at sabotage by a rival company. So Zerka Corporation set up shop on a barren planet. Not totally barren. There were a few good years of mining, and limited operations are still in place. But the ore is flawed. It has peculiar properties. They've had to look at other forms of business. What do you mean when you say the ore is peculiar? Zerka Corporation has really tried to hide this, but it just seems that Tatooine metal is unfit for effective manufacturing. I would imagine that this outpost will eventually be abandoned. Nobody is making any money here. Of course, this rock may have been settled a few times, so look for some other company to get stuck with it. What other forms of business are being looked at here? Pursuits that uh, appeal to the casual traveler. There are some fearsome native species that provide exciting hunting. There are also lengthy barren wastes that serve as fine soup tracks. Attracting business has been slow, however. What's known about the history of the planet? Very little. There are hints that it might once have been a lush world. But I can't picture it as anything but a desert. Native sentient species have no records going back that far. That was hundreds of years ago, maybe thousands. Of course, the native species are not very willing to tell anyone anything. They're <laughs> barely more than animals. Wow. What species do you mean? The sand people. They're vicious and attack outsiders on sight. More animal than anything, really. Maybe they know the history of Tatooine. Maybe they don't. Impossible to tell. They won't cooperate. Have you had trouble with the Sand People? Not personally, but they've given Zerka Corporation a rough time. It's hard enough mining this rock without suffering random attacks. I think the company has even put a bounty on them. But I'm sure not going to try for it. Any other sentient races? The Jawas are scavengers, and a bit primitive. Hard to understand. They have an affinity for droids. Some of our scientists believe that they may not be native to the planet. But how they got here, they may not even know. As I said, they're hard to understand. They usually end up slaves to the Sand People. They are fighters. Good traders, though. Where should a person look for opportunity? It depends on what... Oh. Well, I suppose I... Okay. I need to get going. Oh, I'm looking for very specific things. Who should I ask? That's not much information. Could you tell me more? I'm looking for older things. Antiques. Artifacts. You a digger? I've heard of ruins being found now and then, but they've always been stripped by sand people soon after. You're not going to get anywhere with them. I guess you could ask around, but I doubt you'll learn anything different. You could always ask a Jawa. It's hard to tell what they know. I need to get going. As you wish. If you need anything else, I'll be here. Okay, excellent. We managed to successfully dodge the landing fee. So if you guys will bear with me, it's actually a bit past time for me to take a break. So if you need to get up and grab some food or a drink or anything like that, this is a really good opportunity. My breaks are usually three and a half to five minutes long. So I'll see you back here after that.
Maybe the spear would be easier. Ah! Oh, jeez. If I had to hazard a guess, based on its profile, I'd say the aliens developed this unit with the intention of tracking and isolating single targets. It appears to have a sophisticated evasion system as well. Perhaps we should try to avoid those tentacles. Oh crap. This is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. Now, do we trust these strange pigeon sister brothers? That playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. That was true, up until Monkey Island. At least with LucasArts-style adventures. Then the designers realized that death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. It was actually making it less fun. <laughs> this is making me so incredibly happy. I'm going to show you what I've done with Starlight Drive-In. You're out of uniform, sir. And maybe somebody was experimenting with cannons on the island or something. Whoa! What? 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 It's... <laughs> Look at the sky! <laughs> What? Oh my god, what? Please somebody clip that. Holy please. Yes, please uh. clip that. Oh my god. Get that. Hey. Hey. That's my tank. I'm starting to see the flaw in my carefully prepared plan here. Okay, I'm back. I apologize. I'm having trouble with the clip shows tonight. Yeah, I, I don't know. I did something with the storage, I think. And now all of a sudden the clips are very, very sensitive. But I will see if I can get that fixed for tomorrow night's stream. In the meantime... I need to actually reopen my capture card software because that was what froze the clips early on. I had to, I had the same problem when I was getting the stream going with the initial clip show as well. Uh, for some reason, having the software open while the clips are running really makes the clips unhappy tonight for some reason. Thank you, Aranar. Welcome on in, by the way. Yeah, it could very well be the same voiceover artist, Bluefire. It's very possible it's the same person. All right. 
It's 10.30 p.m. for you? Well, it's actually... Well, technically for me, it is morning. It is 12.28 for me. And J.H. is... Uh, I don't remember what country you're in, J.H., but I know you're quite a few hours ahead of us. J.H. lives in the future. Hello there, Captain. Let's see. Ah, uh, yes, here it is. Looks like the shipment has been delivered to your ship as requested. Uh, what shipment? What are you talking about? Uh, what shipment was that again? Excellent, thank you. Had a family thing this morning afternoon and laid down to after to nap quickly. Just woke a bit back. Well, getting good sleep is always a good thing, so that's not bad. Finland, got it, JH, got it. Yep, Ontario Bluefire. Docking Bay 32, check. Crate 42B7, check. Manifest lists life form Gizka. Did you say Gizka? It says right here on the manifest that you ordered a crate of Gizka to be delivered to Docking Bay 32. That's right here. Now all I need is your thumbprint for the... Wait a second, where did the data pad go? Nothing is ever organized here. At any rate, the Gizka are yours. One of the loaders said the crate split open once he put it in your hold. Some of the critters might have gotten loose. Oh, good. That happens, I'm afraid. We don't accept liability, and we certainly couldn't take the cargo back. Enjoy. We had the ship for five minutes before it got infested. Oh, nice blue fire. My brother actually lives in Alberta. Ducking Bay Mechanic. I'll take that. I'm sure this guy won't mind. Who that? Turn it, you Gunda Fasca. Customers are talking. That's better. Hello, customer. Buy from Mick Tunnan just and save your credits. And don't be shy. Just ask to see what you want. If you can't get a good look, we don't move the merchandise. Show me what you've got for sale. Yes, of course. We don't want to keep you from important business. Please have a look. Life support pack. I can't afford that. What do you mean Edmonton is hosting LA? I don't know what that means. Okay, so this is a good store. Oh no, Gizka poison. Any Gizka ingesting one of these toxic pellets will die within a few seconds. It will also cause the creature to attack all other Gizka in the area, infecting them as well. I can't afford that. That's probably... Oh, man. Oh, yeah, I don't do sports, so I don't really... You can easily confuse me with sports terminology. Um, let's see, what else have we got around here? Put locker here. Oh, we must have already looted that one. I think we need to in investigate the damages. They're just determined to keep me on the ship a while longer.
The Gizka looks at you curiously, cooing. Where the heck did they get frogs on Tatooine? You try to pick up the Gizka, but it wriggles from your grasp and plops back down to the floor. You scratch the little critter behind its nubs that pass for ears and it coos enthusiastically in response. You play a game of peekaboo with the little creature, hiding your face behind your pan your hands and startling it each time you appear. What fun. Okay, I think we're going to deal with that another time. Prodded for munchies. Good be, Aranlor. Your friends are more jocks than nerds. Yeah, that's fair. I think we have some sports ball going on here too, judging by the news feeds. I think native league playoffs or some such. Yeah, I I have no idea. Tatooine's a dust bowl, and that's all it'll ever be. Yep, I'm sure that's true. All right, let's see. Duros Minor Tradesman. Ronto. Oh, hey, you have a name. Please, will you help me? I have nothing, nothing left. What do you need? I'll help if I can. Oh, thank you. I don't have anywhere else to turn. If you're down and out on Tatooine, you're on your own. My husband was a hunter, killed out on the dunes. This raid plate is all I have left. Please, will you buy it? I don't need a handout. I just can't sell it to Faza without a license. Please, I'm worried about having it. They're so rare. What is a raid plate? Where did you get it? It's the bone plate from the head of the desert raid. My husband was so proud when he found it. He had just started hunting. He said he felt sure the next hunt would bring in more, so we waited to sell this one. Then he never came back. Let's talk about what to do with this plate. Will you buy it? I can't sell it myself. They are worth more than 500 credits. I don't have that much. I can't afford it right now. I don't know what to do then. We need the credits desperately. Could you get it? I could wait. I can't buy it, but I could take it and sell it for you. I... Oh no. How could I be sure you would come back? Are you sure you can't buy it? Please. I don't know what to do then. Please. Okay, we can come back and we'll help her. Sand crawler mechanic. Trade officer. Bastila seems to have something on her mind. Perhaps you should talk to her about it. How can I help? You wanted to speak to me. Yes, I did. I wanted to speak to you about our mission and what lies ahead for us. It seems fate, or the Force, is driving us into a confrontation with the Dark Lord. You must prepare yourself for when we face Malak. The confrontation will be difficult for you. I remember how hard it was when I first faced Revan. Is it true that you killed Darth Revan? It's true that due to my battle meditation, I was with the Jedi Strike team that boarded Revan's ship. We did not kill Revan, however. But killing Revan is what you're famous for. Our mission was to capture Revan if possible. It was Malak who turned on his own master, firing upon Revan's ship while we were still on board it. It was his desire to kill us and his master both. Thankfully, we narrowly escaped the vessel as it exploded. What else did you expect from the Sith? True, I suppose. 
And yet the outcome of that battle was unexpected to all of us. Revan's end was unforeseen. As I said, we were there to capture Revan alive. The Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. Remember that Revan and Malak were once great Jedi, heroes in every sense of the word. They demonstrate the danger of the dark side to us all. I'm sorry, we really shouldn't speak of this anymore. The memory of my confrontation with Revan is painful. Let's return to the mission, please. Okay. So it sounds like there's something they're not telling us. We will remember you when you are sand too. Swoop registration. Oh. Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Terrace alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. So these are new friends then, clearly. Data pad, Damned Crystal, Ichani Dueling Shield, Sith Assassin Pistol, Red Crystal, Sith Energy Shield, Short Lightsaber. Oh, you know what? We have to go back to the ship now. I could just use the fast travel method, but we're already pretty much here. Now, it was in the swoop compartment thingy. Oh god, these things. Um. Okay, let's see. Attack bonus three, yes. I guess that answers the question of whether I'm going to go with the multi-lightsaber style or not. Hunting Lodge. Oh, that's the Zerka office there. T 
take those. Oh, did I fail to loot somebody? Dark Jedi Knight Robe, Double Bladed Lightsaber, Burpeen Cardio Regulator, and a Yellow Crystal. How can I help? I'd like to know more about you, Bastila. Yes, I suppose I can understand your curiosity, given the bond that connects us. Very well. I'll tell you a bit about myself. Kind of, Aaron, Laura, as far as I know. I mean, we're still, I think, too early in the timeline for the Rule of Two to apply. But it's hard to say. There have always been Force users aligned with the Sith who are not actually Lords of the Sith. It's a little funny that way. Like, if you go into some of the expanded universe stuff, you get things like um, Darth Vader's Secret Apprentice from the Force Unleashed games and all kinds of stuff, and Mara Jade used to be the Emperor's Hand and all that. So there are, you know, there are dark, evil people who use the Force on behalf of the Sith who are not actually Sith themselves. I was found to be strong with the Force at a young age, as most Padawans are. As a girl, I was given to the Order to be trained. When I joined the Order, I left my family on Talravan, as all Padawans do. My family is still there, the last that I heard. I've had little contact with them, as it is discouraged. Discouraged? Why? Relationships with family members are fraught with powerful emotions. Such extremes are to be avoided. Anger and hate are the worst, but even love can lead to folly. You aren't allowed to love? Emotional entanglements can be dangerous. They can impair rational thought. They can lead to outbursts of uncontrolled emotion. A Jedi must be above such things. You don't sound very convinced. It can be a hard lesson to learn. I was not on good terms with all of my family, but I do remember missing my father terribly for a long time. You and your father were close. Very close. I was only a little girl when I left my family, but I still remember him fondly. He was kind and gentle and doted on me. My mother, however, was different. I was not on good terms with my mother. I was only a little girl when I left, but I was old enough to resent her and the way she treated my father. She pushed my father into treasure hunting. I spent all my young life on ships, traveling from one false lead to the next. She whittled away my father's entire fortune, and I hated her for it. I think she was relieved to give me to the Jedi, but my father was heartbroken. You never tried to get in touch with your father again? A child is too young to understand the sacrifices that must be made. It's better if they have no contact with their family once they're removed. Once I was older, I realized the wisdom of this policy. A Jedi must do what is needed, personal desires notwithstanding. Love can only obscure and confuse the matter. You sound very sad when you say that. Even a Jedi cannot always control the feelings of the heart. We must do our best to guard against it, no matter what the cost. But some sacrifices are harder than others. I, I do not wish to discuss this anymore. I would rather return to our mission. Okay, no problem. Although I was kind of curious what she would say about dealing with our stowaway problem. Though I don't know that we really need assistance with that one. We already know there's somebody looking for her on Dantooine, so we can take her back there. I'm a little more concerned about the frog infestation. Okay. Vassila, I was wondering something. How did those Vulcans manage to capture a famous Jedi like were you knocked out when your escape pod crashed? No, I was conscious. But my force powers were exhausted from using my battle meditation in the battle for the End of Spire. Without my help, you might have never gotten off the ship alive. Fair enough, but I've seen you Jedi in action. There's, there's no way those thugs could have stood a chance against your lightsaber. My lightsaber was misplaced. I couldn't find it after the crash. I looked everywhere in that pod. The Vulcas came and overwhelmed me even as I was searching for my weapon. Wait a minute. 
Let me get this straight. You lost your lightsaber? Well, <laughs> I mean, isn't that a violation of some kind of Jedi code or something? <laughs> Maybe losing lightsabers is a side effect of her battle meditation. This is no laughing matter. During the crash, my lightsaber must have... It, it must have fallen from my belt and rolled under my seat. The Vulcans probably found it there when they searched the wreckage. Hey, 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 don't get mad. I'm sorry. It's just funny to think of a legendary Jedi losing her lightsaber. Take my advice. This is one detail you might want to keep out of the history texts. I hardly consider myself a legend, Calf. Though I will consider your advice when I relate these events to the Jedi Council. There is no need for them to know every detail of what transpired. <laughs> I love that conversation. We finally start to get a little bit of humanizing for both of these guys. Or sentientizing, let's say. Droid shop. I like the sound of that. It is pretty funny, yes. Oh no. Greeting. Hello to you, prospective purchaser. I am referred to as HK-47, a fully functional Science Tech Corporation droid skilled in both combat and protocol functions. Query. Would you be so kind as to purchase this model from Yukalaka? It would serve my purposes to be removed from his ownership. You mentioned battle and protocol. Outline your functions. Refusal. It is not desirable for me to reveal core functions while still in the possession of Yukalaka, prospective purchaser. It is sufficient to say that I am a fully capable translator and cultural analyst, and I am also proficient in personal combat. Doesn't Yuka question you about your reluctance to reveal your functions? Explanation. It is rare for a droid to resist an owner in this way. Doubtless the Athorian considers my stubbornness an embellishment to add interest to a seemingly mundane protocol droid. All right, I'll see about purchasing you. Statement. The full Athorian has decided I am to be an expensive purchase. He does this out of greed and not out of knowledge of my true capabilities. Advisement. I have observed him. He is a coward and will be responsive to aggressive bargaining. Does Luca Laka know you talk about him like this? Statement. I wish only to be purchased and away from ill treatment at the hands of this poorly skilled mechanic. I have no desire to be subtle. Qualification. Oh, of course I shall be quite pleasant to you, should you purchase me, please. <laughs> oh boy, okay, okay. The droid, the myth, the legend, I know. This is gonna go good. so well. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, we can't go that way. There's not much here. No one leaves Anchorhead without proper authorization. Where would I get authorization? Only one place, and it means dangerous work. Go to the Zerka office for the hunting license. They sell them for Father's Lodge. Tell me about the Zerka office. The Zerka Corporation office is in the center of Anchorhead. The protocol officer will sell you one. She might offer you other work, too. If it's my risk, why not just let me pass? You know, I agree with you, but Zerka Corporation just doesn't want the headache. Besides, I couldn't let you pass if I wanted to. The gate lock needs to be swiped with your authorization. Sorry. Okay. See the Zerka office for authorization. At least he was reasonable about it. I don't mind that. Uh, 
Uh, the cantina. We have to stop in here. Gandrop, you have a name. Let's talk to you. Well, now, what can Gandrop do for you? It's been a while since I've had anyone bother talking to me. Usually it's some kid wondering what my old racing days were like. I was back on Taras. Seems like a long time. I wanted to ask a few questions if you have the time. I'm not sure what I have that you would be interested in. I'm, 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 I'm just an old swoop jock that doesn't have the head for it anymore. <laughs> I'm looking for something. Who knows this planet best? Ask me again in a few years, and it'll be me. <laughs> I'm probably not going to be on the surface. There is one. Yeah, but for now, for now, I, I don't know any more than the next guy. But you, but you should try the locals. Jow is maybe a funny little guy. All right. Uh, keep safe. Yep, yep. Seems like tough times are coming. Better here than with people of sand. Huh? Who are you then? Only new people that come to Junix Nard's Cantina are long-time losers and bounty hunters. Yeah, it really is good. The two don't mix well. Please keep any blaster fire to a minimum. Do you have anything for sale? Anything out of the ordinary happening? I suppose you're fishing for a reaction to the destruction of Taurus. I saw all anyone from off-world is talking about. Well, I'll tell you, it's about time someone kicked the Republic in the tail and got things moving. I guess the Sith are the ones that do it. Don't get me wrong, all those deaths were horrible. The war gets the money moving. Maybe they'll decide to fortify us out here. Know about anything more local? No. Okay. No, you don't know, or no, you won't tell me? Just no. I don't look for trouble. You'll have to talk to people yourself if you want more than that. You don't mind? Yeah, yeah. Rude. Okay. <laughs> oh no, what's that, Aaron Lar? Hang on a second here. <laughs> nice. That's a good one. I like that. And by a good one, I mean that's horrible, but I love it. And uh, that's swoop registration. We trade and scavenge when people will buy. Not so good now. There we go. You'll be hearing about this. You can't just murder a whole village, and don't tell me to take my concerns to your corporate kiosk. What's going on here? Who are you? I'm done talking in this office. They aren't interested in listening to me. I doubt they'll even acknowledge I was here. Typical corporate evasion. That's what happens when they own everything. No accountability. Don't even bother bringing it up. Can I help you? These are the offices of the Zerka Corporation. I trust you have business with the company. If this is about employment, I'm afraid all regular mining positions are full. And before you ask, we are also no longer selling hunting licenses. I'm looking for a miner named Griff. Griff? Uh, there's no Griff here. Never heard of him. 
know, I, I don't remember a single grip on the Zerka Corporation payroll. Are you certain of that? I would leave sooner if I knew. Oh, you mean that Twi'lek? Must have slipped my mind for a second. Yes, of course I remember Griff. We hired that Twi'lek some time ago. Not a good worker, according to his crew chief. Always complaining and faking injuries to get out of work. He entered false timesheets and slept through his shifts. We even suspected him of stealing Zerka Corporation supplies, although we could never prove it. Yes, that sounds like him. We would have fired him, but we needed workers. It would have been better for him if he had been fired. Then the Sand People wouldn't have gotten him. Ooh, you mean he's dead? He was lost in a Sand People raid we suffered not too long ago. There were prisoners taken, but our rescue parties never found anyone alive. In the end, it just wasn't cost-effective to keep searching. All miners sign a waiver absolving Zerka Corporation of liability in these circumstances. Did... Uh, so your workers are all expendable. Zerka Corporation cares deeply for all of its employees. That's why we've started a bounty program to thin the Sand People numbers. We didn't find his body, so we have to assume he was taken prisoner. Whether he's still alive, I couldn't say. That's all I can tell you. I shouldn't even have said this much. This is all privileged corporate information. I could lose my job. Is there some type of reward for saving him? As I said, all employees have signed waivers absolving Zerka Corporation of any financial liability if this occurs. It is the industry standard. I suppose you could apply for special dispensation from the Zerka Corporation representative kiosk on Coruscant. Business hours only, please. <laughs> Very well, though I do have work to get back to. Anything out of the ordinary happening? I assume that by out of the ordinary, you're referring to the destruction of Terrace? That is all anyone is talking about. I'm afraid Zerka Corporation is not offering any comment on those events. We wouldn't wish to anger the participants. Know, any, know about anything more local? If you're looking for local events, I suggest you go to the Swoop Track, one of the few leisure industries on Tatooine. Hmm, there was also a Jawa here earlier, saying something about needing help. I think he's out by the city gates. I can't be more specific about what he wanted. Our droid translators had difficulty with the message. Farewell. Zerka Corporation welcomes your future inquiries. Our relationship with Zerka is going to be full of laughs and entertainment, I'm sure. If this is about mining or sand people, you go to the Zerka officers. I just managed the storehouse. What do you have available for purchase? Mostly just standard Zerka provisions and supplies, not enough to keep the locals happy. Have a look. I have a few more credits than I did before. Zabrak Battle Armor. Ooh. Powered Light Battle Armor. Powered Battle Armor. They have some good stuff here. Motion detection goggles, nice. I can't afford most of it, but that's okay. Good to know it's there. Oh, I totally forgot to get authorization to leave. I guess I need to go back in. Don't you believe a word of what Zerka Corp said in there? There's always a peaceful solution to conflict. They are just lazy. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Zerka miners have been attacked by sand people, so the company Zerka Corporation wants them killed. They didn't ask you to do it? But no one will try, of course. You can't even leave the city without Zerka approval, and they want the sand people dead. Intelligent or not, the sand people have killed people. Yes, they have, but Zerka Corporation deployed numerous giant sand crawlers to tear up the desert with ion shovels and whatever else. What would you have done to the sand people? It must have seemed like an invasion. There were no negotiations for territory or resources. I don't think the killing has been justified, but as a conservationist, I'm hoping someone at least tries to talk this out. Why hasn't anyone tried talking to them? Well, there is the small matter that they don't seem to speak a language that your average translator can understand. Is that their fault? There was even a Jedi here a few years ago that couldn't seem to get through to them. I think that ended in blood, too. I'm not saying it would be easy, but someone has to try. Maybe with a real translation droid, not these old protocol scrap heaps walking around. 
Who would have a capable droid? They are pretty rare, even on well-stocked worlds, but I'm sure I heard something about an unusual droid in the shop here on Tatooine. I'm pretty sure I heard Yuka Laka say that it could speak a Sand People dialect, although he'd say rust is gold to make a sale. With that droid, maybe you could talk to them. I wouldn't survive. Maybe with desert robes as a disguise, someone could get into their enclave. Where would that enclave you mentioned be? What? It's no secret where they are. The attacks get worse the further southwest in the Dune Sea you go. Then people die on both sides. Where would you get robes to match theirs? I suppose you could take them off the warrior raiders in the Dune Sea, but there's no way I'd survive anything like that. Plus, you'd have to explain why you killed their warriors if you're trying to make peace, but I suppose there's no other way. Sure, that's what Zerka Corporation sa keeps saying, and then they just start shooting again. The fighting won't stop until they're all dead. Or until Zerka leave. The one is as likely as the other with the way things are going. <laughs> what do I know? Okay. Always so broke? Yep. Really haven't gotten a big store of credits so far in the game. Uh, I guess we need to talk to you. Greetings again from the offices of Zerga Corporation. Is this about bounties or something else? Hunting licenses. As I said, we are no longer selling them. There are too many people cavorting about outside the walls as it is. Why would I need a license anyway? We use them to ensure that only people judged fit by Zerka Corporation are allowed outside the city. We don't allow casual exploration because of legal concerns. Zerka Corporation takes no responsibility for loss of life on the dunes. It's just so we can keep track of people. No one leaves the city without a Zerka hunting license. What's to stop us from just taking off in our ship and going out and landing in the desert beyond the city limits? There's no way to get a license? Well, normally we charge 200 credits, but I could make an exception if you agreed to perform a task for us. It's similar to hunting. The sand people are becoming a problem. They destroy our sand crawlers and kill our miners. One particular tribe is the worst. It's as if their chieftain has decided to wage war against us. I would like their attacks terminated. Bring me their gaffy sticks as proof. If you agree to do this, I'll give you a hunting license now and pay a bounty for each stick later. I'll give a bonus for the chieftains. Hey, Sketchy, how's it going? Why pay for the gaffy sticks? Why not their heads? Which would you rather have dumped on your office floor? Besides, they're ceremonial weapons, unique to each warrior. It's just as good. I guess I have to accept, although I don't necessarily have to actually hunt them. Excellent. Now, just so we understand each other, this is an enforceable contract. Zerka Corporation takes this very seriously. Here's your license, and a few directions. We believe hey, that the slave is in the far south of the Dune Sea. You might try following one of our sand crawlers. They're regularly attacked. I wouldn't mind you escorting them. Very good. Zerka Corporation looks forward to your future business. Okay. You got back home today. Excellent, Sketchy. You were off seeing family, as I recall, right? How are things going, Vikings? I hope all is well. Anyone have any uh, big plans for the rest of the weekend so far? Now, there was something about a Jawa. Ah, Aziz, what's up? You there, of your kind, can you help Aziz of Jawa? There are troubles from the ghosts among the sands. What is it that you want, Jawa? Aziz, I am, leader of the tribe that is mine. You are the same in kind, a leader that stands before your tribe? Leader of our tribe? <laughs> I said the one. There are troubles that we have. The giants made of sand, they are horned ghosts that take us away. Sand people? 
That is how you know them. Giants are different for us, we being smaller. People of sand are who I mean. Oh, that's cool, Vikings. Trying to rest in preparation for the primaries Tuesday. Primaries? What do you mean? So, Aziz, what do you want me to do? There has been no help given by asking the great group that digs with machines. Now Aziz asks you. I ask that you find us, then bring away from the people of sand. Then we will offer a trade with you. Long have we scavenged among you and those that came before. We have things you will like for this service. Tell me about where your people are. Why have they taken your people? We find things and they use them. Jawa's slave serving. They lead with the whip and gaffy. So these Jawas are scavengers who are enslaved. Inspector of elections. Oh, okay, Arnor. I hope it goes well for you. With the group that digs, we trade and are free. With people of the sand, we serve and die. We prefer you. Tell me about those that came before. You stand on Anchorhead, a place named and named again. You come to dig, but it was already dug. Settled over and over, also long ago. Ships fell after battles above. Now we scavenge and find the pieces. Hmm. I wonder just how long ago the little fellow's talking here. It could be that this Jawa knows things about this planet's history that the Republic has no inkling of. You dig the ore and dirt. In time from now, we will dig you just like digging those that came before. Why have, um, tell me about where your people are. People of the sand in the sand. There is a place in the far south where they live. The approach holds great fighting. Bring the tribe from in to out and there will be payment and trades and thanks. I'll check it out when I leave the city. Goodbye. Okay. Suddenly fighting the sand people seems a lot more yeah, you know, appealing. No one leaves Anchorhead without proper authorization. Well, let's see it. Come on. All right. I'll just scan that and you're off. I'll keep it on file, too. Good luck out there. You'll need it. Assuming it's state elections? Could be. I don't know anything about American election process, except what we see on TV and stuff here. Marlena Venn. Okay, so there's some sort of sail barge out there. Oh, gosh, I remember... Oh. Hello there. You're heading out into the desert? You're a hunter, right? You must be if you've been allowed to leave Anchorhead. When you see Tannis, and I know you know him, tell him his wife hopes he enjoys the anniversary gift. Why do you think I would know him? Don't play dumb. You're just another of his playthings down at the hunting club. I know your type through and through. Well, he can do what he wants. He'll get what he deserves. I bought my own license just so I could see that he did. You sound like you're planning to kill him. Oh, I'm through planning. I just left him a little mess that he has to take care of. If he's smart, he'll be just fine. But he's not smart. Um, all right. What if he has a message for you? Oh, I'll be long gone soon enough. The next shuttle to anywhere, really. I've had it with cleaning up his messes, repairing his droids. If he lives, he can try and get by on his own. I doubt he'll last long with no one to listen to his lies. I have to go. I'm sure you do. Like I said, when you see him, tell him his wife Marlena says hello. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that little formation of five smudges on the horizon there, roughly over Karth's head, that would be him. And the little surprise. No, I am not from the U.S. And I do have to take a break, so if you guys will bear with me, I'll be back in about three and a half to five minutes or thereabouts. 
So if you need to get up, get a drink or some food or anything like that, this is a really good opportunity. I'll meet you back here in a few. Am I being attacked by chickens? Too nice. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that was okay. Uh oh. Uh oh, that is. Uh, yep, um, that, that is totally a thing that works in real life, by the way. That's a, definitely a thing you can do without getting yourself murdered underneath a vehicle. Oh. I don't like your attitude. I'd better teach you a lesson while I bleed slowly to death right in front of you. This is gonna go great. Take me away and kill me. My life warned me not to take a loan from Tavik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. Oh, shoot. Would be funny if he came here on his break and raided himself. That would be hilarious. We should try and make that happen. Greeny, if you're there, be prepared to raid yourself. So let me get the raid started. Oh, oh, we already. <laughs> you are there. How's it going, Greeny? <laughs> ah. Picked a very good time to show up again, Uthgur. Thank you. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Out of the way, mission. That's impressive, though. I like that. Oh, hello. That's not going to fight the dragon. Down you go. Steel helmet of minor alteration. Happy New Year, Dragon. <laughs> 
My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. So, you got that job as a janitor after all. <laughs> I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. You fight like a dairy farmer. I am rubber. You are glue. Got I that. give up. You win. Yes. Okay, I'm back. We do need some more cyberpunk sometime. Maybe we'll get into that over the summer once we're done with charity month. Thank you, Aaron, Laura, J.H., and Anstara. Okay. Zirka marker post. Danger, turn back. <laughs> Looks at Temps and waits for summer. Oh god, Aaron Lar. Basila, did you ever think about joining all the Jedi who were running off to follow Revan and Malak when they went to fight the Mandalorians? That was nearly five years ago. I was still an apprentice. My battle meditation hadn't even manifested itself. Yet even then, I had the wisdom to obey the will of the Council. Unlike Revan. I guess. Still, do you ever wonder if things could have been different? I mean, would Revan and Malak still have been corrupted if the Council had supported them instead of dragging its feet? Do not blame Revan's corruption on the Council. Your Republic saw only the threat of the Mandalorians, but the wisdom of the Masters saw beyond the immediate threat. What did they see, exactly? There was something lurking out there. Something that devoured Revan and Malak, and many other Jedi. Had the Council sent us all into the unknown, how many more would have fallen? So you're saying we should have done nothing? Just let the Mandalorians conquer us unopposed? I mean, the Republic was under attack, and the Order abandoned us. We did not abandon you. But the Council were not about to throw lives away foolishly. In time, we would have aided you against the Mandalorians. But you couldn't wait. Revan and Malak offered a quicker answer, and the Republic chose to walk the easy path rather than the path of wisdom. Now we see the results all around us. You asked me if I think things could have been different. I know they could have. If Revan had only listened to the Council, millions of innocent people would still be alive. Yeah, right, and every single one of them would have been speaking Mandalorian. I, I think we're done here. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Wow, Karth. I know, like, you know I like it warmer, even I was sweating the other day. Yeah, I can believe that, Aaron Lar. Earlier this week, we had temperatures close to freezing. Today, it was like the middle of July. That's why we had so many power issues earlier in the day. At least I'm pretty certain that's why, anyway. Anyone out there? Could you help? I seem to be, uh, doomed. You don't say. Hold on there. How about talking to me before you go missing with those things? I need your help. Excuse me, my droid trend and I were having a conversation. Hey there, thanks for stopping. I appreciate it. I've been stuck without water for hours. Wasn't looking good. I don't remember you from Plaza's Club. You new to Anchorhead? Could you maybe help me get out of here? What happened here? Oh, you're Tannis, right? Your wife says hello. I'll bet she does. She's decided I finally worn out my welcome and she's fixed my droids to do her dirty work. This should be interesting. I triggered some sort of trap she programmed. She probably figured I wouldn't be smart enough to get out. There she was right. <laughs> you sit back and let your droids do the hunting? You know, now really isn't the time for a lecture. 
course, I might be more receptive after I'm rescued. It just doesn't seem very sporting. What do you want me to do? The wife put a kink in my battle droids. They're in some sort of discharge loop. And if I move from this spot, they're threatening to blow up. She knew I wouldn't know how to fix them. If you try to do some repairs, they don't care if you move. It's just me who's stuck. <sighs> well, I guess we should help him out. Yes, yes, I knew I liked this fella the minute I saw him. I say leave him. You're pretty heartless for such a pretty lady, you know. I take it back. Let's congratulate his wife. <laughs> I'd, uh, really appreciate a bit of help. Please? Tomorrow isn't so bad. ADF? Oh, see, that's plenty bad by my count. Although, that's cooler than it was here today. We had temperatures in the 30s. I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit, but that's getting... Yeah, maybe not up to... 100, but probably the mid to high 90s-ish. Just access each droid's repair interface. You'll have to do some tinkering, but be careful. One explosion, I can survive. Any more than one, and I'm dead. Oh, and uh, ignore the message Marlena left in there. No way do I deserve this, I swear. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of thinking maybe T3 would be a good one for this. Jim Racer, how you doing? Oh, and uh, Hydrate, thank you very much. A special message from Marlena. Having fun on the dunes, Tannis? I made sure you would. Here's the deal. Your precious droids have trapped you. They'll hold you until you die of thirst. Make a mistake while repairing them, they explode. Have a good death. My mother was right about Energy governor out of alignment. Error introduced by slime ball must die subscript. Authorization Marlena 1. How's Fortnite going, Jim? It's really good to see you. I hope you're doing well. We were just discussing some warmer than normal weather we've had. Yeah. Enter diagnostic mode to try manual repair. Scanning. Node 1 reports that node 2 failed. Node 2 reports that node 3 failed. Node 3 reports that node 2 failed. Error. Two of the above are definitely false. Compare logic to identify the only memory node that can be correct. Um... Node 1 reports that Node 2 failed. Node 2 reports that Node 3 failed. Node 3 reports that Node 2 failed. My immediate instinct is that Node 2 has to be the correctly functioning node. Awaiting group reinitialization. Two sounds accurate to me, yeah. Wednesday night we had some pretty bad thunderstorms. I'm a little bit jealous, honestly. And you guys, uh, on Stara, you were saying that it's raining now in your area. I I'm kind of jealous of that. I would like rain. My first guess was one and then my head started to hurt. Was it two? Yes, it was two. Scanning heat dissipation system. 
Data missing from prime values. Listing data 2, 3, 5, 11, 13, 17, 19. Recalibrate this system by determining which value is missing from the above list. That was easy. 7 was missing. If one was accurate, then two was wrong and three was functioning. However, we know only one is correct. Yes. Uh, did I... M oh, sorry, Sketchy. Yes, this is uh, Tatooine. We've gone to... Uh, we've gone to Tatooine. Power cell drain must not exceed total. Different motivators measure the same total energy pool as either 300 small pulses or 180 large pulses. Upper motivator has used 100 small pulses. How many large pulses left in the remaining fraction? Oh my god. Has used 100 small pulses. There's 60 large pulses used, yes. So there has to be 120 large pulses remaining. Correct. Excellent. The Endless Desert Planet. One of them. There's also Jakku. I do math and logic for fun. Four times fourteen times eleven minus fourteen times thirty one minus fourteen times thirteen minus twenty one minus fourteen times question times question. Descriptive number progression corrupted. To recalibrate, determine the correct progression by describing the previous entry. Chaotic. Oh my god. This one just... This, this one's making my brain hurt. Honestly, this one might be worth using apart. first one? Isolating unit to minimize damage. Nope. However, that means the remaining ones were all successfully recalibrated and he's capable of surviving a single explosion. So, we win. I appreciate the help. That was unpleasant. Thanks for your help. I'd have been a goner. Hey, and the old bat thought I was dead. <laughs> now, my dear lady, I must see to your reward. Will, uh, earthly delight suffice? Eh, I suppose not. You never asked me for anything, but I consider my life worth something. Please, take this. I insist. That will be fine. Good luck. Thanks again. I doubt any of those uptight hunters would have helped, and I doubt the wife is coming back. I'm heading back to the shop. Hope she left the manuals for these things behind. Wow. You solved that one? Nicely done, Sketchy. If I had, like, a notepad or 
the time to go and actually analyze it properly, I'd be able to do it. But on stream, there's no chance. Okay, so that's that taken care of. Let's wander around some and see what more we can find. A small group of sand people ambush you. Sand people, oh, there we go, sand people clothing. The next number describes how many there are in the previous sequence. I would have to be looking at it. I think that does make sense, based on what I remember, but I would need to see the correlation. Yeah, I'm liking this dual saber deal. to get rid of T3. You should speak with the captain. He's the only officer we've got left. Okay. Fighting team captain. Ah, it doesn't matter. Can you handle a blaster? It may attack again at any second. Oh, well, he's from Space Gotland. I would assume this was done by the Sand People. You would be right. Came out of nowhere. Wait, damn it. Here they come again. How did they do that? Hey, they're supposed to be coming in single file. We can clearly count them.
That was a lot of sand people. Where did the captain go? Oh, excuse me, Basila. Thanks for your help. I don't think we'll try holding this position for much longer. We're not soldiers. Did the company send you? It's about time they drove these animals out. I have agreed to try and stop the sand people attacks. Well, you've got a lot of work ahead of you. Do you know about the enclave in the south? Don't even try to go near it. They've taken all the Zerka weapons that were supposed to protect our sand crawlers. That place is a fortress, a death trap. You'll have to find some way to sneak into the place. That is not my job. Do you know anything about the sand people? Just that they attack everything on sight. Well, I suppose they don't attack each other, but any outsider's as good as dead. The company tried to arm us and even set up remote self-powered turrets on the mining route, but, but that just made things worse. We're not soldiers. They still kill us and then take our weapons off our corpses. They even had the Jawas disable the turrets and set them around their enclave. It's like a fortress now. I, I don't know how you're going to break through all of that. Me, I'd sneak in. Uh, well, actually, I'd just get back to Anchorhead. Fair enough. The Sand People are using turrets? They use whatever they scavenge. They seem to hate our technology, but they love to turn it against us. That goes for blasters and turrets, too, I guess. It's not like you need to be a genius to operate them. They probably don't even bother with special settings. They just watch for people approaching and switch them on. I don't have time for this sort of thing. I'm through with the desert. You can take your sand people, crate dragons, and crazy hunters. Yeah, so do we. There's no way we're repairing this thing while getting attacked over and over. The desert can have it. Ah, the Jawas will salvage it eventually anyway. Then we can buy it back and start over. <laughs> Makes sense to me. All right, sir. You have fun with that. I'll take that. over this way. Even more ambushers. Okay. The desert raid. At least we got their sticks to sell to Zerka, that's true. And some other stuff. What can I do? What? Alright, it's probably time to go back to Anchorhead, sell some stuff, and maybe see if we can get the money to do some of these things that we need to do. I have my own desert raid plate, so I could maybe sell that, buy the one from the woman who's desperate for money, and then sell the new one too. Plus I've got other stuff that I can sell that I don't need anymore. I don't know if I can sell the clothing, JH. Theoretically, I need that to infiltrate the Tuscan Raider areas. 
I might not have to necessarily keep all of it, though. credits here and there. Oh, actually, I've got 500 credits. I've gotten more credits than I realized I was getting. That's good. I don't even have to sell anything to help the woman out. And then I'll just have more to sell. Zerko is around here somewhere. I think. Wasn't it? There it is. Wait, where's she? Oh, right here. You, please. Have you reconsidered? I must sell this desert raid plate, but I have no license. Can you help? Why do you need the money? I spent everything on my husband's hunting gear. We hoped that the sport would support us. We hoped. Whoever killed him took everything. All I have left is this desert raid plate. We thought we were so lucky when he brought it home. If I could sell it, the kids and I could get out of here. Maybe buy a passage to Coruscant? I don't know. Will you buy it? I can't sell it myself. They are worth more than 500 credits. Perhaps I will buy it for a man. You will? Oh, thank you so much. Please, I know it's worth at least 500 credits. I will pay you what you want here. Oh, thank you. I hope it is enough. You've been a great help. I appreciate it. My children will too. Glad to see we're still the good guys here. Sometimes I think we forget that. Thank you for helping this woman. It may not seem like such a great thing to you, but you are making a difference. For whatever it means, may the Force be with you. You saved us. Wow, they're both in agreement. They both really like that move. Excellent. I suppose we should check out the hunting lodge. This is probably where you sell hunting trophies like that anyway. Well, a new phase. Come to test your skill on the endless dunes of Tatooine? Baza's Lodge is a place to arrange it. This world may not have much, but it does have the meanest predators this side of the Galactic Rim, a hunter's paradise. So I see, that's the biggest raid skull plate I've seen in a season. Whoever got that was a skilled hunter. I'll give a premium price on that one. I have a buyer that put in a special request. Does 500 credits sound fair? Yep, that will do nicely. I have a raid plate to sell. Let me see... Okay, so this is stuff we could buy. Jurgen Kalta's carbine is expensive. Oh, he's got some more upgrade stuff. I could get both of these. That might be worth it. 
But now the cell list. Security spike tunneler. I can sell that. If you can really call it selling since it's worth zero. We can sell the Dark Jedi Knight robe. Actually, we could use this. I mean, it's only clothing. Designed for those who relish personal combat and know that power comes to those who take it, these robes offer good protection with no hindrance to movement. I think it has a better defense bonus than what we're using. I might keep hold of that. Double-bladed lightsaber goes for a reasonable amount. I'm going to keep that, though, just because I can always stuff different crystals into it. If I wanted to use it for whatever reason. I don't think I need six heavy blasters. Let's get rid of four of those. Sith Assassin Pistol. Oh, you know what? I should really give this to T3. That's pretty good damage. Like, the average damage is going to be significantly higher than usual. Plus, it has that ion stuff. So, I I'm going to definitely keep hold of the Sith Assassin Pistol. I think I'll get rid of the Disruptors, though. And I don't need six blaster rifles, either. We can get rid of a few of those. I'm keeping all grenades. Oh, I never did read this data pad. This data pad contains a record of Kalo Nord's trophy kills, sentient and otherwise. The last entry is an account of a recent Rancor hunt. What the Rancor lacked in intelligence, it made up for in size, strength, and ferocity. Conventional blasters were all but useless against its impenetrable hide, and I was forced to resort to more unorthodox, or unorthodox methods to bring the beast down. Some well-placed mines were near a watering hole, some well-placed mines near a watering hole were the first step, their explosions hurting the creature into a dead-end canyon where I lay in wait, perched among the rocks. As soon as the rancor was below me, I dropped down onto its massive neck. It reared back, bucking and clawing in an effort to dislodge me, but I had the perfect position. Unable to shake me, the monster opened its mouth in an outraged howl and I was able to flip several frag grenades down its gaping maw. The explosion blew... oops... The explosion blew me clear of the shredded corpse, but luckily the head was still intact. If I take it to Taris, I'm sure Davik will mount it in his trophy room along with the other heads I have collected for him. Davik's also expressed interest in hiring me. I may take him up on his offer, even though I still have yet to claim the greatest hunting trophy of all, a pearl from one of the crate dragons of Tatooine. Wait, Desert Raid Skull Plates are only worth 24 each? What the heck? Are there any upcoming Star Wars MMORPG games? I don't think so. I mean, they've already got uh, Star Wars The Old Republic. Why would they make another one so soon? I don't really, you know, uh, pay that much attention to what's going on with MMOs anyway. As a rule, occasionally one might catch my eye, but they're pretty rare. Okay, I think that'll do. We've got almost 900 credits now. Let's go back to the buy list. I could blow all of these credits just on 10 advanced med packs. I don't think I'll do that. Uh, 
Okay. 892. Kudos. Hello, human. Are you a hunter like the others here? Not the life for me, but I admire you for it. What do you do? I fill the days with games of Pazak. Not that there's many people to play with, but a person should keep busy somehow. I play with that fellow in the cantina, but I find him distasteful. He does not play for the same reasons I do. Okay, he's the Pazak guy. We don't want that. Were there any MMOs that you did in the past? I used to play Star Wars, The Old Republic, actually, and I used to play some of the superhero ones, like Champions and City of Heroes. If I could trouble such a worthy hunter for a moment. I'm looking for something. Who knows this planet best? No one that will return your questions. To truly know the dunes, you have to live there as the sand people do. Oh. Only they truly explore the land, but they attack without debate if you see them at all. What about the Jawas? The Jawas may loan the land as well, but are more interested in trading than talking. They scavenge to... Uh, Star Wars Galaxies. Is that... What kind of game is that, Bill? It's good to see you, by the way. I hope you're doing well. Have you ever seen the sand people with anything odd? The sand people carry nothing but weapons and bloodlust. To them, outsiders are invaders to be repelled. Once or twice, however, I have seen them emerge from older ruins with sacks and other containers. I've always been driven off, and if I examine the site later, there is nothing left. Oh, Galaxies was the one that came before the Old Republic, right, Bilzerb? So that one, I think at this point you have to play that on private servers. What kind of ruins were these? Where were they? They were old storehouses of some kind, but you couldn't find them now, human. The sand covers all. Walk south until you're attacked. Okay. Get lost, Tenderfoot. I hunt Desert Raid. I don't babysit. <laughs> well, you sure know how to get on my good side. You're just trotting out Bantha Paths, but thanks all the same. Who knows this planet best? You'll have to ask around. Comad Fortuna is a much more experienced hunter than I am. He hunts far from Anchorhead. The local Jawas are a good source of information, even if it is hard to understand them. It may cost you, though. Good hunting. Thank you. Okay. I've never heard the Galaxy was more buggy than your average game. But then I, you know, I never really played that one. Thank you. They've reverse engineered the code to a pretty stable point. It's all quality of life updates and tweaks now. That's pretty good. That's not bad.
I'm gonna get mission back on this one, I think. I feel like we should have her. Hey, wait, what? There we go. We should have mission just in case we come across Griff. Star Wars The Old Republic is still sitting in my download pile on Steam. It's not bad. It's pretty good, actually. The early parts of the game I really, 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 really enjoyed a lot. But then I played right around launch, like right after launch, and I just found that the launch content couldn't keep my interest into the end game. I got to level 49 with one of my characters when Cap was 50 and I just couldn't finish it. I just couldn't keep going on. The writing had gotten really uninteresting by that point. At least, uninteresting to me. Your mileage may vary. Yes. Yeah. Good thing we've got mission. What? Yes? What? What? That doesn't sound great. I'm here. Huh? More companies need to just embrace we no longer support this and will not in the future, therefore we're open sourcing it. Yeah, it's not always as simple as that, though, Aaron Lord. They still want to maintain control of the intellectual property side of it. And that's especially true in the case of something like a Star Wars multi, uh, you know, MMO, where they don't own the IP, and so they don't have the right to simply open source the game. They might own the copyrights and trademarks on the code that was used, but the game is more than just that code. They're not help! legally allowed to do Please. that. Over here. Please help! I can't get out! Three, they can rip that two, part out and still open source one. the server software. Maybe. Oh. What? But would that still have any value for the gamers? You know, if you're looking at a Star Wars RPG... Without the intellectual property side, nobody's going to care, and probably people aren't going to want to bother playing it. Perhaps I could persuade you not to do this. Why would we stop? You look pretty weak right now. We got you good. If you let me go, I'll tell others how smart you are. Hey, we get pretty good reputation if you run around all scared -y. Huh, I like it. Okay, we will leave you alone here. You count yourself lucky. Yeah, you real lucky. Uh, Girk, they didn't give us nothing. Shut up, we got what we wanted. Now we go. That's how this works. Wow. I think it would, since the other option is to attempt to reverse engineer what the server software was.
Oh boy. Uh, I guess in that sense, that's true, Aaron North. That's true. Uh, well, it launched years and years ago, Sketchy. I don't know if they've updated the system requirements for it, but I played it on the computer that I used before I started streaming. So I don't think you need a beefy computer. Might have required a beefy computer at the time, I don't remember, but it's it's an older game at this point. Okay, so those guys are kind of nasty. Noted. Looks like it's been a few hours since I did a manual save. I might want to consider that. There we go. I love the idea that this game is trying to explain how the Jawas got their sand crawlers by explaining that Zerka Corporation brought them here for their operations and then just kind of abandoned them. And the Jawas took them over. That's actually pretty cool. Let's fight these guys over here first. Oh, what's this? I'll take it. We need some Jawas too to take care of our junk piles. That would help. Have a good night, Aranar. Nothing here? Okay. I'm gonna save again right here. in the numbers a little bit. Yikes. 
Well, I actually took more of them out, so I'm kind of happy about that. Well, elites, and also, that's quite a large number. I mean, it shows five there, but more seem to spawn in pretty quickly. Sorry, Bastila. Yeah, the elites are the problem. Actually, I wonder... I don't use the mines at all. I'm kind of dismissive of mines. I'm wondering if this might be one of those rare occasions when I have to... actually try using those. We did... Yeah, it's true. Grenades do tend to bomb Bastila, and I'm thinking that's why I might have to use the mines. A vast expanse of desert stretches before you with no markers or any indications of life. Okay, I wasn't actually going there. I was going more here. Would you stop it? Stop that, I said. I just want to go here. Oh my god. Would you please? Mine laid and ready. Oh, that's... Ugh. They replaced their numbers. That's annoying. Come on this way.
it's not really a fortress so much, it's just they're a camp. Ugh, we're right in range of where they spawn, that's annoying. I mean, I guess they fortified it, so technically it's kind of a fortress. You could call it that. Heal yourself. There we go. Okay. The other th oh, maybe this is partly why we had trouble. I was going to take mission instead of Karth. So let's save now that we've cleared the entrance. I thought this was going to be an unwinnable place. Nah, just difficult. To the Sand People territory. Yes. Why? What? Ugh. I thought I had switched you out. I think I keep forgetting to do done. You really have to do that. I'm here. Of course we are, Sketchy. This is a charity stream. We are still fundraising. We're charity fundraising all month long. On your phone? Okay. 
I'm not sure what difference that makes. Um, I guess there are some parts of Twitch that don't necessarily work as well on mobile, but hopefully it doesn't stop you from viewing the site or the stream. Not at all what I was expecting. Well, that was a waste of a grenade. Okay. Really? Oh, does it not work on the, um, on the mobile? I'm sorry to hear that, Sketchy. Mission is just kind of getting torn apart here. I might have to bring Karth back. And if it looks like we're going to run into Griff, I'll bring her in. Actually, maybe we'll try Zalbar. Seven to level ten, yes, that's fine. Okay, there we go. Now, Zalbar, what are you using? You can't really use any armor. You can do that. He's got a Vibra Sword. Use Mission's Vibra Blade. away from my computer for so long that I have to wait for Steam to get updated. 230k. I'm used to that going fairly quick. I guess maybe I, well, I as a streamer, I suppose I need good internet. Hopefully it'll uh, update quickly enough for you. I just realized with him using dual vo um, vibroblades, we're an entirely melee party. That might not be ideal. What 
can I do? Skill too low? Shoot. Okay. What? Oops. Oh, it's not even moving? Oof. Oh, I just remembered. Theoretically, I was supposed to wear the outfits, and that would let me pass. Well, I mean, we can still do that. We haven't actually... What can I do? Okay, hang on. Sand people clothing. 11 sets. I think we can probably handle this. Another good reason for not having Zalbar, I guess. Uh, hang on. We need somebody that can pass as a sand person, and I don't think a Wookiee's gonna do that. Hey, Jim Racer, what do you mean the practical joke exploding shields? Oh, it's not even. Oh, that would do it, Sketchy. That would do it. Bits for some reason can't travel without some kind of connection, that's true. Oh, got it, Jim Racer, got it. Let's see if they're gonna attack me now. Nope, they're friendly now. Okay. Sand people turret. This sand people warrior has obviously recognized you and is astounded that you are here. Your disguise may have allowed you to pass the turrets outside, but it is ineffective at close range. This situation is hopeless without a very specialized translator. You are seen as nothing more than a trespasser that must be expelled. Make a hasty retreat before they attack. All right, okay. I forgot, we still need HK-47. Still, good to know the disguises work to a point. Guys, try to avoid the mines. Memories are coming back. Excellent. Because I actually don't remember this place at all from my original playthrough years and years and years and years and years ago. Yeah, I'd be amazed if you couldn't, Sketchy. It 
uh, the old Republic's been around for quite some time. Now, on the Dune Sea, we probably don't want to look like sand people. We've seen the kind of reception they generally get. Okay, so Dark Jedi Knight robe is functionally identical to a regular Jedi Knight robe. I gotta take a break now, folks, so if you will bear with me, I'm gonna get up and um, grab myself a little bite, and I'll be back in just a few minutes, usually three and a half to five minutes or thereabouts, so if you need to get up yourself and move around some, or grab a snack, get a drink, whatever you need to do, it's a really good opportunity to do it, and I'll meet you back here when I'm done. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> Not what I was going for, Aloy. I'll save this for a dire. That's what I wanted. Not sure who I'm in danger from. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was kind of perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yes, game, I know. Residential, it's fine. It's fine. I'm actually going to put a little residential in here. People can live in the park. It's not a problem. I, that was completely an accident. Okay, what do I have to do with this? Oh, I think that was just the thing that delivered the thing for the thing. I just realized I have not even started using bombs yet, and it's already almost... Gone. I don't put much stock in songs and deeds, but that battle was a verse worth singing. Holy crap. No, Aloy, the door. Headless friend is back again. So it's not actually tied to the bridge then. Dropped out of a plane, but at least the reactor's disabled. Oh. You 
didn't see me do that, I didn't do that, you can't prove a thing. Didn't work so well. What was that? The hell? This room is in lockdown, but don't worry. I've got the override code. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. That's an excellent idea. When you desperately need all troops available at your side, be sure to lock them in their rooms and force them to use an override that they may not know. Whoa! Okay, I am taking the win, even if I have to redo it. <laughs> this is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. Now, do we trust these strange Pigeon Sister brothers? But playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. That was true, up until Monkey Island. At least with LucasArts-style adventures. Then the designers realized that death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. It was actually making it less fun. <laughs> Side note, while that it is true that death and dying can make games less enjoyable. That's only true for certain types of gamers. A lot of gamers really, really enjoyed the Sierra style where you died a lot, and it was actually a lot of the fun finding all the funny different ways to die. Okay, I'm back. Uh, where's my, there we go. Thank you, J.H. Thank you, Sketchy. Then there's Dark Souls, yes. Dark Souls. Wishing that it could live up to the amount of death deal dealt out by the King's Quest series over the years. Animal Crossing stream when? I've never streamed Animal Crossing before, JH. I'm not sure. Don't let me die under here, please! Please help! I can't get out! We got you good now. We did good ambush, now you better pay uh, maybe 500 credits now, you die otherwise. Perhaps I could persuade you not to do this. Okay, so that wasn't too difficult to do then. We managed it twice in a row. So it's high time to fix that. I don't know though, JH, I don't know. I mean, it would be one thing if I had a new island that I could set up from scratch and 
had objectives and things, but there's really just not a whole lot that I need to do on my island. I could maybe spend an hour streaming it, and then I'd be out of stuff to do for the day, and it would be really boring. Stardew Valley, I actually, I need more clips from Stardew Valley. Maybe it's not a bad idea to do some Stardew streams. I don't know that I really have any clips to speak of. And I have actually played a fair bit of Stardew on the stream, so that would be a good thing. <laughs> I might need to look at re-gearing mission. She seems to die awfully quickly. Oh, I'm sure there's plenty. I'm sure there's plenty. does she have? Okay, so that's a blaster carbine. Do we have anything better? One to eight. She could use Zombar's bowcaster, I guess. That's the only thing that's really better. Maybe I'll let her have that. Ugh, no. Really need to get her something good. Dexterity 17, Constitution 13. I'll try both of them. Let's see. Oh, she needs the feet. Okay. Hmm? Let's just do this encounter real quick again. Maybe we'll skip those guys over there. Okay. Uh, perhaps I could persuade you. Oh, okay. See you later, guys. These are the Gamorians that we ran into in the hunter place. Yes? What? I'm here. Okay. I wouldn't mind doing another run of Stardew Valley, actually. It's pretty good. 
I really like that game a lot. I'm looking forward to Haunted Chocolatier. Had you on in the background as I veg out in a strategy game. Oh, what's the game, Vikings? Been enjoying the commentary. Hope you're enjoying the playthrough. Oh, it's so good, Vikings. I love this game so much. And I'd forgotten a lot of it. Like, a serious amount of it. I remember bits and pieces. I have vague memories of defeating a crate dragon here on Tatooine somewhere. I don't remember anything whatsoever about the Tusken encounter. There's just, it's a complete mishmash. It's more like fragmentary images than real memory of the game. Darkest Hour, a Hearts, oh, a Hearts of Iron game. I have Hearts of Iron 4. I have never played it. Burke Black makes it look really fun. It's a standalone mod based on Hearts of Iron 2. Interesting, Vikings. Almost forgot about Haunted Chocolatier. Yeah. It's been a while since we've had updates about that one. And I expect it's going to be a while longer because it's still very early in development. But I'm really looking forward to seeing what he brings to it. Especially after the experience he's got now building games and game systems for Stardew Valley. So I think it should be really, really fun. Okay, so that's the Zerka place. We need the droid shop. Where's the droid job? That's the hunting lodge. That's... The docking bay. We don't want the docking bay. We went too far. Better historical events. Expanded scenarios with World War I and the Russo-Japanese War. Got almost 700 hours in it. Damn, Vikings. That's pretty cool. I remember having a stressful time in this desert, trying to get back to the city and being almost deadened. Yeah, I could see that. I remember being inside the Sand People Fortress, but I didn't remember the way there. Hearts of Iron 4 is inter interesting. It introduces some quality of life improvements, but it takes a lot of the army management away from the player. Uh, that sounds like a good thing to me. I would probably get really bored by excessive army management, honestly. Overall, very fun game, though. Yeah, I guess it's really going to depend on what you're looking for from the game more than anything, right? No, we don't want swoop registration. Where is the droid shop? Not here. Not here. Wow, it was like almost at the edge of the city, but the looks of it. That's the cantina, isn't it? Yes. What the where? What? Oh, it's got to be this building right here. It is literally right at the end of the city. Right by the gate. I have not sketchy. That's what I'm going to... I. Well, I, I say I'm going to do that. I want to at least find out what I have to pay for him. I don't know that I've got the cash. What's this? A customer I don't recognize? Perhaps you bring off-world money to Yukalaka? Oh, you are lucky to come at this time. I have one droid ready to go. I just took possession of it, an HK-47. It's a fine protocol translator. I think it's been modified. It claims to understand the Sand People dialect and also has some armor mounts. Combat ready, perhaps? Let me ask a few question about questions about HK-47. Of course, let me just say that every function I've tested has performed perfectly, those that I could find, anyway. You don't seem to know much about it. The unit has been a little uncooperative. They get that way when they go too long without a memory wipe. And if the unit proves even more uncooperative once we purchase it... You can leave it alone if you find its mannerisms amusing. It might be a little eccentric, but it's stable. 
Why haven't you wiped its memory? I would have, but I can't seem to access any inner circuits. It's definitely built for security and built to last. At any rate, it claims that it doesn't have access to its own memory core anyway. Could be telling the truth, it's hard to say. I'm interested. Let's talk price. It's a very solid machine in good shape. I can't let it go for less than 5,000 credits? Could I convince you to lower the price a bit? 4,000, not a credit less. That was quick. Desperate to sell? Uh, no, not really, but the first figure really was a little high. You never know. The occasional person bites right away. I still can't pay that. I'm not interested. Okay. What do you have in stock besides droids? Ah, uh, looking for droid or swoop bike parts, huh? Well, I may have a few things. Would you like to look at what's in stock? Very well. There's not much at the moment, but it's better than nothing. Ah, uh, droid heavy plating type 2. That's still expensive. Wow. Heavy plating type 1. Yikes. Medium type 2, I could technically afford. He's actually got some really nice stuff here. Demolitions probe, wow. Motion sensors. Environment shield level 3. Maybe I should look at the cell list and see what I can ditch. I don't need more than three of the uh, outfits. Oh, I only have three of the outfits, never mind. I'm probably never going to use this stuff. Let's get rid of the military suit, the light battle armor. Who do I want to sell the gaffy sticks to? This guy's not going to pay anything, so I'm not going to use that. Um... None of this stuff goes for very much. That's the problem. Been trying to do something similar, but playing Finland for obvious reasons. Finland is super hard to defend because of the long borders. Estonia has only two provinces with land borders and the USSR, so as long as you fortify the border, build your army to 15, 16 divisions, and keep three to four in reserve to deal with naval landings, you can last until July 1941. That could explain my hard time then. Yeah, probably, J.H. I find Hearts of Iron 4 even harder as Finland because of some of the surrender thresholds. Hearts of Iron 2, you can cheese a little better. Darkest Hour has World War I timelines. You can actually play out the Finnish Civil War. It took forever, but I managed to win as the Socialists once. Nice, Vikings. Saying hell no to that price? Yeah, yeah. I might take him up on the 4,000 credit thing, but I'm not going to be able to pay 5,000 credits. That's... wow. I just really don't have... well, I don't use these mines. I'm going to freaking sell the mines. I'm going to collect more as the game goes on, but I need money. Oh, light uh, plating type 3. Oh, I don't need two motion sensors. Well, I've got 2,000 credits now. That's an improvement. Okay. We're halfway there. We need to run back and use the workshop, though, so we have to go back to the ship. Which, actually, can we do... Yeah. I'll just do it that way. 
instead of running all the way back. We're gonna have to, Sketchy. We're gonna have to. And other stuff. Let's see. Okay, so I've got a lightsaber and a short lightsaber. Wait, what? Who's got a previously blue lightsaber equipped? Why do I have three lightsabers equipped? Oh, you know why that... Okay, okay, hang on. I completely forgot Juhani is with us. I totally forgot about that, wow. Gonna call it a night. Hope, hope you have a great night, rest of stream. I can talk, I swear. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mad. Have a fantastic night, and I will catch you again soon. I I totally forgot about you, honey. Wow. Well, let's see. Uh, Karth's Blaster. Oh, we can really improve Karth's Blaster, can't we? There we go. And that's already geared up. Ordo's Repeating Blaster. We can improve that. There we go. Armor. There we go. I like that. Until I get a blue crystal of my own, I think that'll do. What do we got for you? Either blue or green sketchy. I like those two. Yes? What? Although, purple can also be good. I'm a little disappointed that when we fought the Dark Jedi, one of them had a purple lightsaber. I was hoping I might be able to recover that so I could take the crystal, but no such luck so far. Yeah, it is a shame. Greetings again. I see that, but do you have the all-important chieftains, Gaffy? That was what you agreed to get for us. Just regular ones for now. Then I'll take those off your hands, but the real prize is still out there. Farewell. 750 more... Wow, not bad, not bad. How can I help? You wish to talk to me? I do. 
I've been watching you, studying you closely to see what kind of progress you've made since your training at the hands of Master Zaha. My progress? I've seen how you've resisted many temptations and continue to walk the path of the light side. Very commendable, but I'm afraid you might stray from this path. You need to see what the dark side represents in its entirety, for it is what we battle. Only the wisdom of a Jedi Master can truly explain this, but I will do my best to make you understand. The dark side is not simply giving in to anger, temptation, or to use the force to destructive ends. These things only lead to the dark side. The dark side grows stronger and more insidious the closer you draw to it. It begs you to surrender to it, to release all its terrible power, and it becomes harder and harder to resist. And once you stop resisting, it's too late. It twists you up inside and turns you into a mockery of everything you once stood for. You seem to know that temptation very well. I am no less resistant to temptation than any other. I simply have the benefit of training that you do not. But even the training of the Jedi might not be enough to save us. We need only to look at the atrocities which have been committed by those under its sway to understand the terrible, corrupting evil of the dark side. Millions dead, and far more suffering. What sort of person would you have to become to perform such deeds gladly? I don't know. Neither do I, and I hope I never do. It's so easy to think that we would never fall prey to such a horror, that we have unlimited control, vigilance, and foresight. If only that were true. The Sith have become powerful because there are many Jedi who've succumbed to the lure of the dark side and joined their cause. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause, to use their own knowledge against them? We are weakened while they are strengthened, so we must harden our hearts and do whatever is required to fight against the dark side. Even when the battle becomes wearying. Do whatever is required, such as? I don't know. The vision of our future is clouded by shadows cast from the dark side. But I sense something ominous lurking in those shadows. But words alone cannot save one from the dark side. Come, we should continue with the task at hand. When the time comes, I only hope we are all strong enough to do what we must. Oh, I'm sure Force Lightning itself is not an evil power, Haggis. It's what you choose to do with the lightning that makes it good or bad. We could get some decent armor now. Oh, thank you, Sketchy. Interesting that the powered light battle armor is more expensive than the full on powered battle armor. What's that from, Bluefire? I grab that for mission. Talk to him a little bit more. You want to hunt for Zerka Corporation? You talk to the protocol officer. Okay. Greetings again. 
Farewell. All right. In the comics, yeah, 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 comics, yeah. I think they're kind of questionable on their status sometimes, but that's cool. Who uses a regular lightning these days? Is there any other kind? Is my question. Star Wars Legacy books had pretty much everything. That's true. I still like them. They're really, really good books. I've read them even since they became non-canon. Right, we have to talk to this guy. Good hunting. Thank you. Is there anything more we can do out here? I guess we'll stick to the uh, sides of the map here. Indicated by the markers and see what we can do. The other thing we can do too, if it starts to get too difficult to earn credits, we can always go to a different world for a while. I seem to remember there's a lot of opportunities on Kashyyyk for fighting Dark Jedi and such. Yeah, thank you, game. I wasn't actually on the other side of the border there. I appreciate the concern. Okay, concussion grenade, probably not my best choice there. Now we have to wait for it to recover. I was kind of hoping to pull it, not drive it further away. Yep, okay. That's why I wanted to pull them. Oh well. <laughs> Things were going well until your whole party died. Yeah, that, uh, that pretty much sums up every RPG I've ever played, ever. They could use it to attack droids. That would make sense. Or maybe it's just the particular Jedi. Yeah, they had other things they could do. 
other ways of dealing with them. Come on back here, guys. That's much better. Okay. It makes sense unless you think about the sentience of droids in Star Wars, but then you're getting far too existential about a story about space wizards. The actual sentience of droids in Star Wars is debatable on a, an overall level, Haggis. It seems to be an extraordinarily unusual happening that droids become sentient, and most people seem to be completely unaware that it's even possible. So you would not necessarily expect the average person in the Star Wars universe to consider that. Or at least I wouldn't. Your mileage may vary. Hey Tagarung, how's it going? Been lurking while playing with my new toy. What did you get? I got a sizable bonus at work the other day. So I got an Oculus Quest 2? Oh my god, Tagarung, that's amazing. The original Star Wars trilogy can be said to not even be sci-fi. Oh, it absolutely is not sci-fi. It's fantasy dressed up in the trappings of sci-fi. There's nothing science in the, that, that fiction. The Eastern Dune Sea continues to a barren horizon, but there are signs that people have passed this way. Oh, there is more to... No, wait. Let me see that again. The occasional stone appears to be marking a path, but the logic of how they are placed is indecipherable to an outsider. So... I guess I need HK-47? Why do they make him so freaking expensive if I can't go anywhere or do anything until I get him in my group? But let's face it, R2-D2 is the true hero of Star Wars. I will not dispute that, Pegasus. I would not dispute that, honestly. I'm loving it so far, but only had it for two days. So far, the only complaint I have is battery life is kinda bad. Yeah. Sometimes I find myself getting a little impatient to get some kind of VR set up, but then I think about the fact that the longer I end up waiting, the better the gear is going to be when I do finally get it, and that really helps a lot. Thanks for your help. I don't think we'll try holding this position for much longer. We're not soldiers. Did the company send you? It's about time they drove these animals out. The definition of sci-fi, sci J.H., is literally science fiction. It is fiction about science. Star Wars is not even remotely about science in any way, shape, or form. It is fantasy. It's mythology. It's space opera. Replacing R2-D2 with HK-47? No, can't do that. That's heresy. Not that I want it to be something, I don't do labels like that. All I want to know is if I like it or not. That's a good way to go about it, JH, honestly. Well, they've taken you'll have to find some way to sneak. 
Okay. Yes. Ah, the Jawas will salvage. All right. Yep. The Jawas will take it. I really wish I could explore this though. There's got to be so much good stuff in there that I could really use. That's unfortunate, but oh well. I mean, I guess the idea with HK-47 is they're probably trying to drive you to do swoop racing. Which, in fairness, I could give that a go. I was pretty good at the one on Terrace, but that's the intro easy mode one. I'm sure they mix it up a little bit once you get off of Terrace. doesn't have to be current science, J.H., but it does at least have to conform, like, well, to... It, it really depends on the kind of science fiction you're talking about, J.H. If it's hard sci-fi, then it has to conform, or at least not violate, the known laws of physics. Uh, the softer your sci-fi gets, the more allowance you have, the more leeway you have to create semi-magical technology. But the more of that you get, you get closer and closer to something like Star Wars, where there's just no actual real science in it anymore. And you're just basically dealing with fantasy at that point. So it's, it's like a lot of things. It's a spectrum. It's a whole range of things. I'm pretty sure that guy in episode 7 is a scientist. Wow. There's been a long-standing history of lumping fantasy and sci-fi into the same category. Yes. That's because they're using the alternate terminology of, uh, you know, calling it SF. Which actually does not mean science fiction. SF is a different acronym. It means speculative fiction. And both sci-fi and fantasy belong in there. That along with horror. And a number of other categories as well. So that's fine. Things get muddled up a lot. I can see why, since there's definitely a sliding scale on what's science and what's magic. Yes, exactly. That's the same sliding scale I was just talking about. Sci-fi is really about humanity just under the perspective of different technology or technology-created circumstances. Some sci-fi is. It doesn't have to be, though. Science really is the defining characteristic. That's why it's called science fiction, right? But the best science fiction is about humanity. I mean, that's really true for just about any fiction at all. Whether it's science fiction, fantasy, or, you know, anything else. What about Star Trek, where the reality gets closer to it rather than Star Trek getting closer to reality? Star Trek sometimes dives into fantasy science as well, but it does have a lot of science that's actually grounded in reality, which is one of the reasons it has such an incredible history of reality catching up to it. So Star Trek is definitely actual science fiction. What do you want? You here for money? I'll pay the hut what I owe as soon as the circuit is back on its feet. No, wait, you don't look like a collector. You're just some kid. Go on, I don't have time for you. I have a few things I wanted to ask. Spare a moment? If I say no, you'll probably hound me to death. Fine, what do you want? I want to ask about you and racing. Uh, is this the best place for racing? I'd better hope so. It's the last stop for me. If I can't get some decent times going, I may as well not leave. Wish I could use the destruction of terrorists as an excuse, but I doubt I would have ever made it back there. Why have racers come here? Old guys like me can't make it on the good tracks, and the new racers come here to try and knock us down even further. I'm still trying to have one last good run, but it just isn't happening. Okay. Played a little Subnautica VR. Ooh, how is that? It's pretty awesome, but since it wasn't primarily designed for VR, the controls are a little janky and resolution is poor. Gotcha, Tagarun, gotcha. That does make me wonder, did Star Trek... Was Star Trek considered impossible magic, so not sci-fi back in the day, and suddenly we are getting there? No, I think the authors were all pretty intent on making... or. A lot of the authors were often very intent on making it actual science fiction. Really varies depending on who wrote what episode, I think. Can't wait for Brent Spiner androids, nice Vikings. 
My favorite Star Trek story is when Sir Stephen Hawking was in that episode of TNG. He went by the warp drive set and said, I'm working on the theory for that. That's really cool, Jim. I think there's a Voyager episode that introduces the idea of space folding or something like that. Really neat stuff. Yeah. Fiction and science often feed into each other. Ideally, yes. Mota the Hut. Who are you? Ah, uh, nobody. What do you want, huh? Handouts? Go dig a mine, fool. You will show me respect, worm. Not interested in helping, only interested in racing. I get enough beggars through here looking for money. Let's have a look at you. Hmm, just a human, nothing really special. You race? Maybe on a swoop? I raced on Terrace. I won the season opener there. Hmm. You and 12 other liars. Planet blows up, race records are lost, and now everyone is a champion. My friend tells the truth. I am a Jedi. Are you going to imply that I am lying as well? Oh, now you are champion and travel with Jedi. Does the story get bigger with every telling? Okay, okay, enough of the funny stuff. You think you're a racer, you'll be one. You have your own bike? You got a bike, then you can race. I don't care about experience so long as I can get you out of you on, on the track. And if you crash and burn, that's your problem. I just need warm bodies to pad the roster between the pros. There is a matter of a small track maintenance fee, 100 credits. Why not drop the fee? No racers means no crowds. Well, I suppose you're right, but I'm not dropping the whole amount. 50 credits, that's it. Good, that shows you mean business. Now you can use the track for recreational runs, or I can give you an official race right away. Just set me up with a race. Garm Totril's line. Okay, so 2390. Oof. Alright, let's see how this goes. Ah. Oh, I missed my line. Oh, that would have been great. 2381. I could have beaten that. I think that was too slow, wasn't it? Or was I maybe... That's encouraging. Oh, I did beat it. You passed the first year and have earned 10 racing bonds. Not a bad showing for a beginner. Take this with my thanks. We'll see if you can do any better in Tier 2. What sort of business do you need help with? I make my money off signing good racers. Good ones, not great ones. I want them young and stupid. I've got one. Nico Sveni. Great potential. Only started racing a year ago and loves it. He lives for it now. And? Sounds like you have something special. What do you want help with? What I want is simple. I want Nico to sign a contract with me and I want you to convince him. I'll pay well. Why won't he sign? The deal basically says that I fund his bike and repairs, but in return I take a hefty cut of his winnings. He knows it's harsh, but he can't afford to go pro on his own, and he doesn't want to give up racing. I've got him where I want him. I just need you to give him a little push in the right direction. Or a big shove. I think you should give him a better deal. Let's go back to some basic questions about Nico. Why would he listen to me? He doesn't trust me. Actually, none of them do. I'm the promoter. I do it for money. They all just want the glory. I'm sure they wouldn't mind some of the credits, as opposed to getting it stolen out of their pockets. You're a swoop jock like him. You're new, but if you win enough, he'll respect you. I'm counting on it. And if he doesn't, make him choose correctly. You look like you could scare some sense into him. 
I think you should give him a better deal. You're not going to pull that typical swoop jockey attitude, are you? This is business, and I know what's best. What do you care whether I make money off the kid or not? He wants to race, and you'll get paid. We all win. Treat him fairly, or I'll start rumors your races are rigged. You wouldn't. That would be bad. Very bad. Even rumors like that could keep me out of the pro circuit. All right, I'll give him a better deal and make it back in the long run, I guess. You, of course, are not getting paid. I trust this is the last I will have to hear about this matter. Was there anything else? We just need to clear up the positioning fee. All racers pay the same before each officially timed race. 100 credits. Made it past the first tier, so let's try the second. Yuka Rill is the current leader. The time to beat is 23 seconds. 0.29. Okay, I'm gonna have to hit more of those accelerator pads. That sounds amazing, Tagarung. You're gonna have to let me know how that goes. Uh. Nope. Blew it. I lost too much time, missed too many things. Not lazy times like that. Wow. Okay. One more time, then we'll go do something else, maybe on a different world. This is not going to do it either. No. Oh god, I'm so screwed. This is awful. Twenty-seven. Uh, I think I'm too tired for this mini game. Okay. What do we have now? Almost two. I must have won pretty decently on that first race. I'm back at almost two thousand credits again. I saw Jabba in the thumbnail. Well, you saw it was a different hut, actually, but yeah. How are you doing, Grogu? It's good to see you. I think maybe we need to go to a different planet. We'll try Kashyyyk. Kashyyyk is a good world. I'm glad to hear that. Pizza the Hut, yes. The best of the huts. Okay, where did we leave that cockpit again? No. That's not the one. got to deal with this frog problem at some point. Nope, that's not the one. One day I will get used to the layout of this freaking ship. Today is not that day. Still waiting for the Spaceballs sequel, oh man. A great character, but he always costs more for extra toppings, it's true.
History of the World Part 2. That's going to take a few thousand years, though, I think. It would take a miracle. Wow, Haggis. Not even close, Sketchy. We're just leaving for a little while. Well, it's not even so much stuck, JH. It's just I need to make money and I need to get stuff and level up and upgrade and as much fun as Tatooine is, until I get HK, I really can't do a whole lot there. I'll have better luck doing all the things I need to do elsewhere. So, yeah, actually, on second thought, stuck is actually a pretty decent description. Another vision. The Force is guiding us, helping us retrace... Another vision. Oh. The Force is guiding us, helping us retrace the steps of Malak and his old master, leading us ever closer to the Starforge. Kashek is a lush but simple and undeveloped world. I would not have expected to find the alien technology of a star map here. It did, sketchy. Not in the Alderaan sense. More the... they bombarded the planet until there wasn't a single building taller than two stories left standing on the planet. So, yeah. Still destroyed. Just not quite as thoroughly. It looked like the star map was on the forest floor. The Wookiees of Kashek make their home high among the Rosha branches. Only their bravest warriors dare to descend into the forbidding depths of the forest. If the star map is located far beneath us on the planet's surface, as our vision seems to suggest, it's unlikely the Wookiees even know of its existence. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Perhaps chat can fool the game into thinking you have HK-47? Nah, it's okay. I'll just get HK-47. Much easier than fooling the game that way. Okay, for this one, we're going to shake things up a little bit. We're going to take her, and we're going to take Juhani. I'm actually trying not to ask about the star map. Greetings to you. While I'm pleased to welcome you to planet G5623, I do not see your ship on my docking schedule. The Zerka Corporation will see to your needs, of course, but there will be a 100 credit docking fee in advance, I fear. This outpost is remote and expensive to maintain. The 100 credits given will ensure that it remains here, for your use, of course. Upon collection of the correct fees, I will extend what resources Zerka Corporation can offer. I'm sure you understand. Is the price negotiable? Very simply put, no. Operation of these remote outposts is an expensive endeavor. You are welcome on Adian. Trade designation G5623. Zerka Corporation welcomes your business. We should discuss your interest in my office. We will also arrange for translation services for a nominal fee, of course. You'll be encountering a number of Wookiees while here. I'm trained in the Force. I'll have no trouble. I don't have any experience with that. I just know that only the most adaptive people can understand the Wookiee language. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna... Oh, I have to do this one because I clicked through. Um, we'll do awareness. I'll give her two weapon fighting so that we can eventually give her two lightsabers. There we 
go. Lies and deceit are for the Sith, not us. That's true. Do you know about the Guybrush Threepwood Star Wars unlock? Uh, I'm not certain, Haggis. I need more to go on than that. Okay. Oh, she's already got a Jedi Knight robe. Interesting. Okay. She has her lightsaber. One of the games lets you unlock a guybrush head on your character and play through normally. Sadly, no insult fencing lightsaber duels. Ah, oh, that's a shame. That would have been amazing. <laughs> nice, Quentin. I take it you've played. Perhaps you should reconsider leaving Zalba behind. This is, after all, his home world. That's a reasonable point, actually. We know very little of this planet. I also sense that Zalba has much that is unresolved here. It may be beneficial to aid him in this respect. I hadn't even thought about that. I feel bad. Sorry, Juhani. I was just thinking there's a lot of Dark Sith on this, or Dark Jedi on this planet. And it would be good to have several Jedi. But... Zalbar is a native. My home, I should have prepared you for coming here, but I don't know if I prepared myself. Prepared me? What do you mean? I didn't leave Kashyyyk voluntarily. Mission must have told you how I was fleeing slavers, but there was more. I am an exile. The slavers on Kashyyyk only took me after I was forced to leave my village home 20 years ago. Why were you forced to leave? My brother made deals with the slavers and allowed them to get a foothold. I found out and attacked him. The fight was stopped, but my father did not believe me when I told him about my brother's actions. I was made in exile, disowned by my home and people. I should not be here. They will not accept me back. Why didn't your father believe you? When I attacked my brother, I was so mad, I used my claws. You don't understand what that means to a Wookiee. Our claws are tools, not weapons. To use them in battle is to become an animal. It is madness without honor. I am forever a mad claw in the eyes of my people. Nothing I say is to be trusted. They were right to cast me out. We'll deal with that if we have to. Time has passed. Things will have changed. The slavers are still here. This dock is theirs. I doubt anyone has risen to try and fight. Nothing has changed. I just hope I can prove myself to my people. It will be difficult to make them listen. I just don't know. You can get special ice cream on this planet. Wookies and cream. Wow. One month? What do you mean, Sketchy? So, new spaces have come to Wild Kashik. Please, look well upon the wares of Eli Gand. I live to serve your needs. Just be sure to pay cash. The interest on his loans will drain you like a diluvian fat worm on a hut's backside. First off, hearts are all backside. Secondly, I don't much like the comparison. 
No need to get personal. It's just business. Poor fellow. He's been waiting for his friends to return with my What was temporary sketchy? No. Ah, but you don't need to hear this. What can I get you? Oh. Yeah, it's always based on the current amount of bandwidth being used, so if the bandwidth increases, the time decreases. Of course. You're in a hurry. Reinforced fiber armor. Everything is so expensive. Jamo Hogra's battle armor. Light battle armor. Bothan's sensory visor. Wow. Immunity to critical hits. Oh, holy crap! 150 credits. That's really cheap. It grants immunity to critical hits, boosts awareness by plus four, demolitions by three, and security by three? That's for mission. Wow. Wow. Your internet is, uh, your net seems a bit slow. Yeah. Yeah. You have spectrum. Oof. I have heard things. Gizka poison. I still haven't figured out what to do about the Gizka. They're actually not as much of a problem as I thought. How can I help? Why did the council send me with you on this mission? Can you help me with my little stowaway problem? I am confident that you can deal with that on your own. Wow. Okay. How can I help? Could not accomplish this on my own. I need the aid of others, especially one who is strong in the force. The bond between us made you a natural choice. Besides, the events on Taurus proved that the force wanted to bring us together for this mission. And there is little left to chance when the force is involved. Is that not enough for you? It just seems odd they would send me off without a master to guide me. I admit, there were times that I wondered if this is more than just a mission to stop Malak. There were times when I wondered if this was also a way for the Council to test my own abilities. I get the feeling there's more going on than I know. I wondered if the Council wanted to see how I would help and guide you on our quest. I wondered if they were testing me to see if I was ready to become a Jedi Master myself. And then I realized how foolish such thoughts were. As the Council explained, sending a Master in our group would only have drawn unwanted attention from the Sith. The fate of the galaxy is at stake. The Council would not risk it merely to test me. They calculated the risks, and in the end chose the only option available. I guess that makes sense. You must learn to trust in the wisdom of the Council. Your destiny will come when it's appointed time. You mustn't be so impatient. Come on, come. Let's move on. There's much to be done. Okay. You can't have Google Fiber, that's unfortunate. Are they not in your area or something? You live within three miles of Google's headquarters? Oh god, Haggis. There is so much to learn about this planet, but they keep us cooped up in here. Tell me about the planet. You called it G5623 before. G5623 is the numerical designation. The galactic basic name is Adian, chosen by corporate ballot among stockholders. It would seem you are already acquainted with this world, given your choice of traveling companion. I've been away for a very long time. 
You let the beast speak for you. You allow it more liberties than most of our customers. Allow it more liberties? What do you mean? He means that they are slavers. They take my people from their homes and sell them to the highest bidder. Your current Wookiee seems displeased with the situation, but I fail to see a concern. You seem to be a satisfied customer. Zalbar is no slave. He has pledged a life debt to me. Ah, a very difficult thing to stage. I commend you for it. So much easier than relying on restraining collars. Okay, this guy needs to go. Why? I should let him kill the lot of you. Why do the Wookiees tolerate you doing this? It is not me personally. I merely represent Zerka Corporation at this outpost. There are other directors at other stations, of course. Arrangements have been made with the Wookiee leadership. Harvesting is handled as delicately as possible, relatively speaking. If it will ease your temper, I will give specifics. We supply arms in exchange for a supply of healthy Wookiees. We are kept profitable and an agreeable leader is kept in power. It keeps the process from becoming a constant firefight. What is this leader's name? I believe his name is Chundar. I don't deal directly with them, thanks good. Thank goodness, far too brutish. That was not a name I wanted to hear. It sounds as though your thrall has an opinion about our arrangement with this leader, but it doesn't matter. Chundar is unquestioned. This is not something I will talk about, not yet. Local, okay. What weapons do you have available? I don't want to talk to this guy any more than I have to. He's making me angry. Moth and Discord gun. Blaster cannon. Oh, that one looks handy. Bowcasters. There are precious few good internet providers in the U.S., yeah. I know plenty of people that work at Google. Great internet at their offices. The town won't let them lay down fiber, though. Really, Haggis? Why? That would seem like a no-brainer to me. Okay. Excuse me, I know it's been a very long time, dear, but aren't you Bastila, Helena's little girl? Yes, it is you. I can see it in the eyes. My, how you've grown. I'm Bastila, yes. I take it that you know my mother. Oh yes, I worked for your father on an expedition years ago. Your mother showed me hollows of you before you, well, before you left. Such a pretty little girl you were. Is there something I can do for you, miss? As you can see, we're in quite a hurry. Don't be rude, Bastila. Oh, I didn't mean to take up your time. I just wanted to ask if your mother's condition has improved any since I saw her. My mother's condition? Oh, you... you don't know. Oh dear, I just thought. I assumed that she had found you. When I talked to her last, she was desperate to find you. I've not seen my mother since I joined the Order. Do you know what's happened? Did you... Did you say anything about my father? I'm sorry, dear, but your mother is very ill. So she told me. She didn't say anything about your father, however. I didn't see him. I see. Where did you meet her? Do you remember? I saw her on Tatooine, dear. She said she'd been there for a while. Maybe she's still there. Thank you for informing me. I really must be going now. What's this all about? It seems my mother's been looking for me. <laughs> Strange. Should we get the opportunity? Could we look for her on Tatooine? Certainly. It's important enough that my mother was attempting to seek me out. Perhaps it has something to do with my father. Part of me would rather not see her at all. But if she is really sick... 
We shall see. Okay. We were going this way. This game has a really bad habit of turning me around after a conversation. Hold here, Spacer. Zerka Corporation doesn't recommend traveling in Wild Adean. Katarn attacks are especially bad right now. Oh, that Kyle. Usually keep numbers down, but I think they leave certain areas infested. Just hoping a Zerka guard will get killed. Who says the argument has to make sense? As JHTDW said, it's often due to exclusivity agreements with various companies. Yep. You're the Wookiee lover. Why don't you tell me about them? I'm sure you're real close friends. Oh, don't you get on my bad side, sir. Keep your pet on a leash, or you'll be wearing him. I have no love for these animals. I've seen guards ripped to shreds. Want to see another one? <laughs> Not anymore. Look, you want to know why the Wookiees are acting compliant? You go ask them. When they rip your head off, we'll fish it out of the Shadowlands and give it a proper burial. How about that? I won't stop you, but you leave this area at your own risk. We're here to protect the company, not you. Yeah, Haggis, I think you're probably right. Forest Kinrath. Damage sentry droid. Can you sense it? The wind, the sound, the smells? I feel it all now that we are away from the spaceport. The walk this walkway is new, probably built by the slavers, but I remember the trees. My village is not far from here. Is there anything I can help you with? It is kind of you to waffer, but my problems are very personal. I'm not sure if I'm ready to deal with them. I must warn you of one thing. I don't know if I will be a help or hindrance to you here. My father was very powerful, a chieftain. Perhaps his feelings have mellowed, but if my brother had his ear all this time, I may be very unwelcome. We'll deal with that when the time comes. That is what I'm dreading. My shame was meant to be forgotten on some faraway world. I never thought I'd come back. I'm sorry, I've taken enough of your time. We should press on. Oh, that leveled me up. That's pretty cool. Go up on dexterity. Spacer. I'm Patrol Captain Denno, and you're interrupting Zerka Corporation business. What happened here? This Wookiee slave got a little rebellious. We had to put it down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
careful now. That growl sounded pretty threatening. Keep your slave on its leash or we'll have another accident. Just shut up, you trigger-happy idiot. Well, of course they don't. Why would you ask me that? You're doing some sort of snap inspection? You're trying to get me to admit to incompetence, aren't you? Not going to happen. I stand by my patrol. This Wookiee got out of hand and had to be put down. You'll find another easy enough. Well, it is a bit costly. Look, why are you asking this? Is that a joke? Who do you think you are? This posting is trouble, friend. Get out while you can. You make some sense. I wonder what you know about what might happen here. I mean, I think we should petition for a transfer. The corporation will survive a fight here, but us frontline guards won't. If... if you say so, Captain. Yes, I say so. Move out. This place just isn't worth the trouble. <laughs> this is the type of scene is why I wouldn't trust myself with Force Lightning. Reasonable. Very reasonable. Ooh, construction kit. What the? I don't remember construction kits. Interesting. We need to examine this. I hope the new version has a much better inventory system. This can contains all the necessary parts for a droid to repair itself after being damaged in combat. Oh, okay. In including electrical regulators designed to isolate malfunctions. This kit can't be used by living beings. Construction kits repair 35 vitality points. Wow. Nice. I'm here. 
Hmm? It's a good thing our little sentry bot buddy joined us. Oh, hello. Who might you be? Wookie guard. You are not permitted to pass into the Shadowlands. Only Chundar may allow your you entry. Especially when you bring filth such as this with you. This Mad Claw has no place here. Who are you to question my place? You follow Chundar into the arms of outsiders. And yet you travel with outsiders yourself. Speak no more. Chundar will decide if you are permitted to enter the Shadowlands. We should proceed to the village. I'm sure we will both get answers there. Okay, fine. I guess it's back this way then. Oh yes, it must be because we've got enemies up ahead. so tough when they're poisoned. We need T3 or uh, possibly mission. Okay. We'll have to come back then, clearly. What can I do? I'm here. Nine spikes? Oh, God. Zerka Corporation Resource Station Model A4R, designed for field insertion at key patrol points. Access granted by Zerka ID card. Probably a good idea, JH, now that you mention it. I was just thinking I could use some new lightsaber gear. Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Terrace alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. I have a not so great reward for the, whoever tries to destroy me. What the? time save oh 
Okay, I did. <laughs> I thought I hadn't saved. Thought I screwed up. Nah, it's not gonna let me switch characters again, is it? No, okay. I'm here. That went better. What can I do? Level up, please. Yellow crystal, next door crystal, Sith energy shield, and two short lightsabers. One with a purple crystal, damn. Another purple, a diamond crystal. Yellow crystal, verpine cardio regulator, a red double bladed lightsaber, and another dark Jedi night robe. Oh, we ha- wow, okay. We have to run back. Well, that means we're going back. We have to check out the next door crystal and I need to make some color adjustments. Miss this. What do we have here? Excellent. Oh, did I miss the backpack, or was that what we get opened earlier? That's what we opened earlier. Okay. I did miss this. Some good stuff right there. Can you actually go back, though? Of course I can. There's no reason I shouldn't be able to. Oh, uh, thank you for the hydrate. Uh, 
Okay, let's see. Attack bonus three found on the desert world of Dominia. This crystal can be used in lightsaber construction to produce a clearly defined beam of subtly wider width and length. And next door. Attack bonus one, Keen. This crystal is mined in the mountains of the planet Mahalia, and when used in lightsaber construction, it produces a volatile blade that can cause surprising amounts of damage. Let's try this one. Actually, I'm probably going to keep my primary saber green. I don't know what color I'll have the secondary. Oh, but... Do I want a short lightsaber? Green line on the download page. Usually, uh, well, I, I don't know what download page you're looking at, so I can't say for certain, but I would assume it's the progress. Oh, on Steam, yeah, disk input output. So that's the um, the activity of the the disk that you're using. can't actually be much higher than the network in any meaningful way, Sketchy. I don't know that they use the same scaling, so I wouldn't worry about it. You can't actually write data faster than you're reading it from the network, so you're fine. The higher the disk I owe, the better. But it won't actually be any faster than the data is actually getting pulled down. Unless you've got a computer that can see the future. Our damaged sentry droid friend is still on the go, that's good. Yep, exactly. A lot of the time, though, especially these days with SSDs and whatnot, if you've got a slower connection, particularly, your network connection is going to be the slower point than your drive speed. Stop where you are, outsider. You enter the domain of Chundar, chieftain and leader. 
Stand aside. This human is with me, and I want access to the home of our people. You have no rights here, Mad Claw. This human should not have brought this taint upon our land. You must answer to Chundar. Shut up. You are a nameless with dishonor, Mad Claw. Yours is a foulness that disgusts me. Enough talk. You and the outclaw, Ma outcast Mad Claw will be taken to Chundar now. Yeah. It could also mean that the network is slowed down, and so your disk activity has gone moment, up. Please, I hear we have a new follower in the library. El, let's show them to a comfortable seat and welcome them in. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, we can't use Zalbar for this. Let's go with Mission, then. She would seem to be the natural choice. She can certainly speak on his behalf. Step forward and address mighty and wise Jundar outsider. I don't often allow visitors of your kind. You are flanked by Zerka slavers. Are they not outsiders, or have you sold all of Kashyyyk to them? Ah, uh, Brother Zalbar, you've been exiled a long time. You shouldn't speak in that tone. Things are different now. You are a mad claw without honor. You have no voice among your own people. I, on the other hand, am chieftain. If you've made deals with slavers, the truth will get out eventually. You may talk, but no one will believe you. I've had a long time to guide what my people think. They trust me, the mighty Jundar. Even with my brother insane and father enslaved, I rose to protect my people despite it all. Father was enslaved? Mighty Chundar? What are you talking about? You were the runt. I am no runt. <clears throat> like I said, Zalbar, a lot has changed in your years away. We will discuss this soon enough. What do you want? Why drag us here? I haven't killed Zalbar because he is my brother, and I hoped he and I could come to an agreement. You are irrelevant. I may be able to put you to use on a menial task. Zalbar will have to stay here, of course. What is that task? I would not abandon Zalbar to you. It isn't your choice, Alara. I already have him. I have a personal matter to discuss with him. You have other duties. A simple thing. Another Wookiee has suffered the same fate as Zalbar, gone mad and been exiled. He now lurks the Shadowlands. More importantly, he's pestering my Zerka allies during their Shadowland expeditions. It's not good for business. Oop, I accidentally hit an option. I don't know what it was. No one will follow a Mad Claw. He is merely a nuisance. Besides, he cowers in the Shadowlands. My people know nothing of him. Okay, so I assume they want me to go kill the guy. Let's go back to my other questions. You test my patience, do my task, or flee to your ship. I don't care which. Ah, oh, so it was this Mad Claw stance against you. More will come. I want to ask about the Shadowlands. We only enter the Shadowlands for ritual hunting. I'd leave the Troublemaker down there, but he has proven too good at surviving. He has managed to linger a number of years, cowering in his madness and shame. You are expendable. You will, you will remove him. I won't do this. Go do your own dirty work. You don't have much choice. You can flee the planet if you want, but I am keeping Zalbar here with me. He'll stay until the Mad Claw is dead. The Zerka would never let me hold you, but they don't care what I do with fellow Wookiees. You can't do that! He can't do that, can he? He can't hold Zalbar prisoner just because he's chieftain, can he? I need Zalbar with me as a guide. No, you won't need him to find your way. Over the years, I've had my people trained to understand Galactic Basic. I tell them it's better to understand the enemy. They think it will make the Zerka easier to fight. Actually, it makes them easier to obey. Remember, you can't beat me here. No one would dare oppose me to join with an outsider or an exile. You are wrong, brother. Someone would.
You see, Chundar, there is someone. Uh, make it good, Zalbar. No, outsider. Zalbar is referring to Freyr, our father. Why, Zalbar? He ordered you exiled when you attacked me. He went as mad as you when he finally discovered the slavers. He dared challenge them alone and has not been seen since. That was years ago. Let him go, Zalbar. I rule now. I'll take the Wookiees forward, but there are prices to pay. Don't listen, Zalbar. It's not worth it. Play along, Zalbar. I like this. No more words, outsider. I've given my orders. I can't hold you here, but Zalbar will stay until you kill the Mad Claw in the Shadowlands. Don't worry, buddy. We'll get you out of here. You can count on us. The guards will let you pass now. Leave the village through the northwest and follow the platform to the south and then east. You'll eventually see where Gorwokin waits for you. He'll lower you to the forest floor. Go. See, even Jedi can engage in deception every once in a while. Hmm. Probably computer. Sneak attack six. see what she can wear now. What's her dexterity bonus? Plus three. She can use the Republic mod armor then. I guess she gets the stabilizer gauntlets for now. What? Oh no. Uh. Well, it's getting close to 4.30 anyway. Let's take that as a sign that it's time for me to wrap up. Damn it. Actually, I want to check something. That's so weird. I've been streaming for hours. A couple of days ago, or a, a few days ago when I was streaming, this controller didn't last through the entire stream, but now they're both showing close to 100% charge. Oh, well, that's a good thing, I guess. Okay, guys. Well, not quite the ending I was looking for, but uh, let's see if we can find somebody to raid, shall we? Thank you so much for being here for the stream this evening. It's been a really fun one. We saw a few new worlds in the game, made a bit of progress. I still have some progress to do on the whole actually making money thing, but uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. Who do we have live that we can go raid? Looks like Hodon Kane is playing some Warframe. Laxative Leg <laughs> excuse me, Laxative Legacy is playing Elden Ring. Danny Valentine is playing something called Tunic. Skynix. I almost never see her playing anything this late at night, but she's playing some League of Legends. Slappy Jack is playing AI the Somnium Files. We've seen him play that before. Pallet Box is playing No Man's Sky. Kismet is playing Seven Days to Die. We've got a lot of people on tonight.
T with Mandy is playing some Hollow Knight. Simcopter1 is playing Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. And that looks like that's about it for this evening. Thank you, JH. Stabilized at 15 hours. Hopefully it goes a little faster than that. Reasonable for 44 gigabytes? Yeah, that's not that terrible. I mean, it's it's a while, but it could be worse. It could be a month. So let me go over that list again. I know that was a lot of people. Hodon Kane is playing Warframe. Laxative Legacy with Elden Ring. Danny Valentine with Tunic. Skynix with League of Legends. Slappy Jack with Somnium Files. Pallet Box with No Man's Sky. Kismet with Seven Days to Die. Uh, Mandy with Hollow Knight. And Simcopter with Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. So if any of you folks have preferences with regards to what game we go into, what streamer we visit, just let me know in chat and I will take it into consideration. It won't decide where we go, but it will influence where we go for sure. That's not the worst time you've had though? Yeah. Just trying to figure out where I would like to go. We have so many people to choose from tonight. Longest you've ever had is greater than one year. Damn, that that I, I've seen that before. It doesn't happen often, especially these days. Hmm, I'm getting kind of tired here. All right, nobody's leaping in with any suggestions, so I'm thinking let's go with Mandy. I wouldn't mind seeing more of her Hollow Knight playthrough. Here is Mandy's link. Ah, it actually gave you Mandy's link and not mine. That's always a plus. I'm just going to load up her channel here and make sure she's not on a break or ending stream. She won't be ending stream unless something weird is going on. Nope, she's still playing. It should be good. All right, folks, you probably know Mandy if you've hung out in my channel for any length of time. She is a fantastic fellow Canadian streamer with really good vibes and a real cozy atmosphere in her chat. She is um, very dedicated to the whole cozy thing. She is actually the team lead for Team Stay Cozy, one of the stream teams that I am part of. So I've known her for a good while. She's a really, really good person, really great streamer, good friend. You will not regret any time you spend in her channel. So let's go visit her channel right now and see how she's liking Hollow Knight. And I will be back tomorrow. Tomorrow night, uh, this is Saturday, right? We're going to break with little tradition here. Uh, I've spent the last few days playing nothing but Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I was supposed to play Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga last night, but I wasn't feeling well, so I just went with uh, this one with KOTOR. Tomorrow night, I'm also supposed to be playing Lego Star Wars. We are going to return to that. We're going to do some Lego Star Wars. There's lots of stuff we can work on in that game because the amount of content in it is just mind-blowingly amazing. So we're going to have a lot of fun with that. Plus, since we will be playing Lego Star Wars again, charity incentives will be active and available. So if um, if you guys have been waiting to do any kind of charitable donation for the cause, that'll be the night to do it. And then, of course, we'll be doing more Lego Star Wars next week as well. So, um, yeah, let's get over to Mandy's channel and see how she's liking the Hollow Knight thing. Let me get you the raid call for the mess... The, uh, the raid here at the library of lore we use library raid you've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel if you are a sub if you're not a sub you can use the twitch raid and the tomb raid emotes in either case sub or non-sub i do encourage you to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid 
If you've got emotes of your own that you'd like to use, if there are emotes from other streamers you'd like to use, if there are other Twitch emotes you want to use, just go ahead, copy the raid message, and arrange those emotes the way you want them to appear. It's all good in my book. So let me copy my own raid message, actually, now that I mention it. There we go. I'm all set. Hopefully you are, too. Let's get over to Mandy's channel, folks, and uh, show her some love. Thank you for all the support tonight. It has been a really, really chill, really, really fun stream. Really enjoying revisiting this story after so many years, and I look forward to it. I'll be playing this again if you're really interested in this particular playthrough. I will be returning to this game again on Monday night, so day after tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, hope to see you back here for that and to tomorrow as well for LEGO Star Wars. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world. I'll catch you again real soon. Bye for now. We are on track to try and find the Death Star. I'm happy to be alive. 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 Achievement unlocked, legendary warrior. Kitchen. Ah! <laughs> That's an excellent idea. When you desperately need all troops available at your side, be sure to lock them in their rooms and force them to use an override that they may not know. And maybe. You could at least be uncareful without actually just standing directly on it. 